we're gonna go right into it. Uh, yeah, I was just talking to the brother on the side uh, concerning. Uh, well, I'm not even gonna speak on it. I'm not even gonna speak on it. That's but our uh, worst, you know, worst. The worst is yet to come. Uh, 20, uh, 2022, they're gonna turn it up. You, you notice that this? How, how do you say it? Amer Amer American. Oh, you know, Omicron. Omicron. How the hell you say it? American. Um, they're running on that now, and they said when it came from uh, South Africa, it was uh, about as, as, as about as powerful as a common cold. But for some reason, in a couple of weeks, it came. Now it's in almost 40 states in the, in the U.S. And now they're locking everything back down again. And we know what's really going on, you know? So 2022, like I said, the most High is going to turn up, and he's going to turn this, this Edomite up. Oh, yeah. You know, we might be out of here in... in uh, 2022, things are going to get turned up. We at we at the end of this thing. That's it. Matter of fact, give me uh, Revelation uh, 12 verse 12. <coughs> and they timed it right in time for the holidays. Yeah, right. Certain uh, sports, football, they canceled certain games. Uh, Basketball, the NBA, they cancel certain games. So they're going to go back to uh, nobody in the arena anymore. You know? Yeah. Uh, Revelation 12. So, you know, you jakes out there that think this is a joke, or if you come and watch us as to get entertained, you're going to get entertained by the Most High. You don't like the, in you're not, you're not going to like the entertainment that the Most High is going to bring you. He's going to bring fireworks, and you're going to be a part of the fireworks. Especially the ones of you that take that uh that jab. Go ahead. Uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So what does it mean that he knows that he have but a short time? That means the most high is getting ready to punch his ticket. The Most High is getting ready to take him out. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So, so, the, so Esau knows that. Esau knows that he's Esau. Esau knows that we're the Israelites, and he knows that all these, all these prophecies are coming to pass. The dry bones in the valley rising up, getting skin on them, pursuant to uh, Ezekiel 37, uh, Revelation uh, chapter 11. Matter of fact, go to that, Revelation 11. Start, at, uh, okay. start at 8. I got a precept for you. Go ahead. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. It says, uh, uh, begin at the first verse. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have... you reading from? Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. And I, and I was thinking about opening with that too. Oh, yeah. Since the Spirit... <clears throat> Let's, you and you in the very first verse? Yeah. All right, let's read that. Let's read that. Let's go through that. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Just so that fits us to a T. Yep. We've been afflicted in the form of slavery. Now you got Edomites, the, the school, the textbooks, they want to take slavery out. They want to take it totally out. But that's part of your history, man. That's part of your damn history. Yeah, this system is afflicting us. This country became great. No, number one, when you came over to this country, starting with uh, this guy, Cristobal Colon, and I was reading a story, I was gonna do a video on it, but I, but I didn't, obviously, that um, there was a point where those uh, natives, they wanted to kill Columbus and they wanted to kill his crew because he came back, his first journey was in 1492, and he kept coming back. He would get certain Gadites, and, you know, the tribes, and bring them back to Spain and put them right in slavery. So these are these would be good slaves, all right? So that, that, that's the devil right there. Yeah. So um, when he came over here, he, he came in a voyage 
but I believe three other ships. Yeah. Not the same name. Uh, if you Nina. look it up, no, it wasn't the Nina, the Clinton, and San Diego. Oh, okay. Three other ships. Okay. With his crew. And what happened was those ships started springing leaks and stuff. So, so it wasn't, it was, they were no longer uh, seaworthy. So they had to eat. They were running out of, they were starving. So the tribes were helping them with food. And they would give them trinkets. They would give them little tin whistles and shit like that. And um, they got tired of it. They said, like, like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with this shit, you know? That's, that's how the tribes work. And they were like, they said, look, we ain't gonna feed you motherfuckers no more. Mm. You know? Mm. We ain't gonna feed you no more. And basically what he said was, he had this almanac from this one cracker that put, the, he could have been a Jake covering the different eclipses and he knew there was going to be an eclipse I think a week from that time or three days from that time so he said my God is angry at y'all and he's going to show himself in three days and sure enough when the, the eclipse formed they got nervous and scared then they started giving them food so what is that a deception man yeah that's what they do Which that's way? what they do deception give me give me revelation uh, 20 and start from the top yeah, with that, with that icky vicky I'll, I'll shit. Get, I'll get that. That icky vicky shit. That ain't nothing but witchcraft, <clears throat> man. You all right, brother? And I have to tell you the truth, brother. And what you did in video, we're not here. What, what did you say? To oh, we're not here to. Uh, we're not here to make you make feel, you feel good. good. We're here and to I say the truth. Take it to you straight, brother. You know. Hey, trust in the most high. That's the water, it, but I, I forgot the name. You know? Because there's none that don't happen unless the Heavenly Father sanctioned it. Con. Yeah, I wish I said it best. A sparrow don't fall to the ground unless the Father sanctioned it. So it's just like taking a jab? No. No. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. What I, just, what I did was like taking a jab. Say again, I can hear you. What I did was like taking a jab. It's kind of close to that. Yeah. Because, like I said, they're not telling you that shit that they stick up in your nose. And that's why when you see it on TV, you see the person yeah, yeah. because they're going past the blood-brain barrier. Okay? You, you have blood in your in your in your head, and then you have a barrier right there. This there's two different bloods. Alright? So what they did was they went and that's supposed to be protected, a barrier protected your brain. from certain diseases or viruses from going up into your brain, man. Right. So what they did was they broke it. They broke it, and they said that you said that you should be doing the talking. That those those uh, swab they move. Yeah, yep, yep. When they put like some fr certain frequency on it. There's a certain frequency on it, and it moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's in your system. Huh? Yeah, yeah, possible. That's and what they got that idea from the Egyptians is not new. Um, I'm trying to pull up a picture. They they did that to the slaves because they made them more um, more. E easier to uh, control. control. Um, let me see. Oh, and the movie The Matrix, remember the Neo? They had to pull when they when they when they set oh, yeah, 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 They yeah. had to use a certain instrument to yeah. pull out something, and yeah. it was and it was a uh, um, a hydra. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. The same thing in Total Recall. Arnold had to pull yeah, that. That's that. Out of his brain. Out of his brain. Yeah. yeah. There was a there was a chip a, mon, uh, a mon, monitoring device which was today is called a chip and it was up in his brain man anywhere he went they knew he where he was going tracking him so they're gonna go from uh, what they're gonna go from the smartphone right into you into your into your right hand butt cheek right. forehead well this this guy uh, uh, Elon Musk said. That they're they're planning on doing human trials with the Neuralink in 2022. Yeah, because they wanted to do it like in 2020. Yeah. Because I, I did a video on that. I didn't even forget the name of the video. But there's there were several articles on that. Because he already tested it on animals, pigs. Yeah. So he wanted to test it on humans, mm -hmm. but he said this year, 2022, humans are gonna get it. And how are they gonna do it? They're gonna deceive you. Yeah. 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 Boom, there it goes. So for y'all for y'all out there in YouTube land that believe that this is uh entertainment man, this ain't no entertainment. This is the real deal. Esau is on his last legs and he's desperate. And by the way, that chip 
is, is the most high's chip. It's not Esau's chip, it's the most high's chip. And this is why uh, the scripture called Esau the Monday Egyptians. Because yep. he just showed you an example and uh, their medicine system goes back to Egypt. How Esau does things uh, with the medicine. Yep. It's, it's nothing new. That's why the scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. Right. So Esau's medicine system really goes back to Egypt. Right. And he just gave you an example. So you think, yeah, you think this great so-called white man is he's doing something new, revolutionary. All his technology and come from the ancient world. Yeah. The gods that he worshipped come from the ancient, ancient world. world. The Canaanite gods, which are demons, you know? The Egyptian gods, which are demons. Uh, they have the Christmas tree, where did that come from? Where did, where did the Christmas tree come from? I'm asking y'all. Nimrod, yep, Nimrod, yep, the Assyrians, which Nimrod, by the way, is an Assyrian, all right? Again, uh, that's East, what... Ishtar, Easter, that's a pagan uh, rite that goes back to the Assyrians, man, and the Canaanites. Yeah, the back. Canaanites, I'm sorry, no, the Canaanites uh, had a person of a god called Dagon. And Dagon is a Hebrew word for fish. fish. And they would wear a robe and they would have a hat on like the Pope is wearing. Yep. It looks like the uh, gaping mouth of a fish. fish yep. Well, that, well that, he's secretly worshiping Dagon, the fish god. Fish god. The, the, to back up our stuff, there's nothing new under the sun. Right. Scripture say that. Yep. Scripture wasn't kidding when it said there's nothing new. So all what Esau is doing is, is he's regurgitating shit from the from the past kingdoms. And what he's doing, those demons are really spirit guides. They appear before him and tell him what to do. Yeah. And they don't realize that the, the spiritual demon Satan is setting them up for a fall. Yep. Where we at? Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. No, no, I said go to uh, Revelation, Revelation 20. I got it. Okay. Revelation 20 and 1 and then go to Revelation 11. Revelation chapter 20 verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So what is that talking about? Anybody? Read it again, read it All again. Right. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil. Who's the, who's the dragon? Esau Eden. Good. During what time period? Uh, the so-called dark ages, right? Exactly, exactly. And the yep. bottomless pit is Europe. Yep, exactly. Yep. Go ahead. Which is the devil and Satan, and found him a thousand years. Now let's deal with the word devil and Satan. What does the word devil mean? Um, yeah, that's that's you can say deceiver. He is the deceiver, but when you want to go a little bit deeper, it, it's the word diabolos, and the word diabolos actually means false accuser. So if you really want to go deep, deceiver is great, but the actual root word goes back to the word false accuser, uh, accuser, diabolos. Yeah. And what does Satan mean? Uh, enemy or adversary. There, there you go. Satan means enemy or adversary. You know? Yeah, because the spiritual demon Satan, you can't bound him. He's, he's part of the council of the Heavenly Father. All you right. got to do is read the book of Job, the second chapter. You can read Job, the first chapter and the second chapter. It tells you when the council of the Heavenly Father came together and the Heavenly Father had like a roll call, Satan came among them to present himself before the Heavenly Father. So, and right. that also destroys that Wacky tacky doctrine you wacky tacky Christians have of the most high is battling Satan, they're right. wrestling together. Right. How the hell is yeah. Satan wrestling, yeah. wrestling against wrestling. the most high? Wrestling. When He's he comes before a council, yeah. Yeah. when he calls a council, the left hand side and the right hand side, right hand yeah. side come together. Yeah, right. Right. You know what that shows you? You Christians don't know, you don't know shit about the Bible. You don't know the Bible. That's why we call you wacky tacky. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know the Bible, man. Now, Vocab thinks he knows the Bible. He, oh, knows, yeah. a, he knows a little something. That's about it. He knows a little something. When you go deep on that guy, he, he starts stuttering. Yeah. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, it says, 
and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed a little season. So it's at a thousand years. Give me the starting point, what year, and, and, and give the name of uh, character at that time or that time frame to the ending of the thousand years. Give me a starting point and the ending point in a thousand years. We went to the, this, end, the ending point. No, uh, I don't want to start at the starting point. What's the starting point? Read that again. All right, it says, and cast him into the bottomless pit. Of Europe. Go ahead. And shut him up and set a seal upon that him. That seal was a spiritual seal. Just like there's a seal on us. Ain't no way. You got Jake setting up different uh, Black Panthers and these groups. Like they're going to take, you ain't taking, you ain't doing shit to the white man. Right. right. That's a video right there. You ain't doing shit to the white man. The most I got to give you the power, man. That's it. Yeah, and a lot Who of those groups, into the back of Pasta, a lot of those groups are set up Stop. by the so-called white man. It's called Auto, auto Ab Chaos. Gone. Order Through Chaos. A lot of those groups are set up by the wicked elite. Yep. Yeah, and you can't win. Like Michael Jackson said in, that, in the, the Wiz, you can't, he sung a song called You Can't Win. Yeah, yeah who was it that said, um, uh, he made a statement, if there's any, if there's a black messiah, we have created him. And that's what those guys were acting. They were acting like black messiahs. Like they're going to save the save so-called black people. Yeah. Like man, the messiah. The, first of all, the white man could have took out the leaders <laughs> of the black man. Just, just, just like, like that. that. Right. Yep. With his blessing being the sword, come on. Why were they saying that? You can't name? fuck with the white man when he's in his palace. Hell no. You notice when the black panthers Another first list. came on the scene, they had the guns. And after a while, you didn't see him with no guns. Why? Because they were set up to help destroy the Second Amendment. Second, what's the Second Amendment? What's yep, the Second yep, Amendment? It, the right to bear arms yep, yep. and legs and, yep, yep. and toes and yep, yep, yep. <laughs> the right to bear arms, man, which is guns. That's it. So they used them. They were used. They were actually used. They were used, man. I got a quick piece of uh, Psalm 60 and 9. This is why the Apostle Paul said that men of sin be revealed, be exposed. That's right. All right? That's the, the time weapon, we're in. The weapon that we have is to expose. That's expose! It. You know? Words the fucking the devil got to be exposed before he's brought down. Yahweh Shai. who's going to bring him down? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The angel. Yep. You, right. you niggas don't got the power to deal with the white man, man. And Yahweh Shai going to be very dramatic in bringing this man down. Well, that's how Jake do. You want to talk about dramatics? How about Shem Yahweh is going to be extremely dramatic bringing you devils down? Because you, because you're proud, man. He's going to be the Michael Jordan on half. <laughs> He's going to rain down on you. You know, what makes, you know what makes Michael Jordan and oh, uh, yeah. uh, this guy that died in the helicopter, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, and, uh, yeah. For you older cats, Dr. J. Remember Dr. J? Yeah, I remember Dr. Still. J. That broke the still. Yeah. You know? What made them great and they totally push out Esau. Yeah was because of their dramatic, the dramatic yeah, way that they... Yeah. It's not just about putting the ball in the no, damn hoop. You gotta do right. it's the way you do it. You, you, do dunk, style. you do a 360 backwards and shit behind right. your head. Yeah. Those, are, those are God's playing, man. Daryl Dawkins, he was known for breaking backboards. Yeah, that, that's it. That's they had to make a, 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 a yeah. break-proof yeah. backboard yeah. for Daryl Dawkins. That's Jake. Man. Jake is just more superior than Esau, man. So when the Lord comes, you think he's going to come back yeah. like Biden? Yeah, he's going to come back, all right, he's going to use his cane and shoot you. Yeah, no, yeah. he's coming back to, dramatically oh, as a is. young man, as a warrior, man. Right. Well, Jake. he said it in, in Isaiah 47, he said, I will not meet thee as a man. Right, right. What the hell does that mean? I mean, that's a clue right there. He's coming as this power, this yeah. power that you ain't never seen, Esau. Traveling in his, in his strength. In the greatness of his strength. Yeah. Those I, chariots, they're going to be doing amazing things, man. Oh, yeah. Got you got it. Uh, Psalms chapter 60 verse 9 Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not thou, O Most High, which had us cast us off? And thou, O Power, which didst not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Would you just read Woo! Psalm 60 verse 9 on vain down. Is the help give me, give me uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 63. Vain is the hope of man. Yep. It says, uh, through the Most High, we shall do valiantly, for
For he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Keep going. Tread down. But I thought God was all love. Hold up. There you go. That's another thing you wacky tacky for. Right. God is all love. Right. God just loves. That's all he does is love, yeah. love, love. Like that song by the Beatles. All you need is love. Ba -ba -na -na -na. All you need. Yeah. Isaiah 63 verse 1. Who is this that Ooh. cometh from Edom mm. with dyed garments from Basra? Ooh. This is that, I'm sorry, this, this that, is glorious. that is glorious in his apparel, Tra traveling in the greatness of his strength. If I may say, Basra, was it, it mentioned Basra and what? Basra, who is this that cometh from Edom, Edom right? with dyed right. garments from Basra? Right. That represents you so-called white people beginning with your top banking families, Esau, Edom. Because Basra was a capital city in Edom. One of it, you had the other one, uh, Petra. You had Petra, you had Basra. So really Basra represents America. America is the modern day Basra. The capital city of you Edomites. Yeah, because you have uh, Bible scholars, Christian scholars say, they come across the word Basra and they go to the Middle East and say, well, there's Basra. So what's gonna happen? Nothing's gonna happen over there. Basically, this is spiritual Basra. Spiritual, like a spiritual Egypt. Yep. That's why you. That's why you Christians. You can't get this. You can't understand this, man. Because you. Because you're spiritually discerned. Yeah. Oh, like uh, Apostle Paul said. And I'm glad Apostle Tom said that. Apostle Paul said comparing spiritual things with spiritual. with spiritual. Then he went on to say the natural man cannot receive the things of the heavenly Father. The spiritual things of the heavenly Father. Yeah. Well, that's what the John one and twelve meant. Vocab. You read John 1 and 12 on the battle axe of the Most High, and you said uh, <clears throat> it's not by flesh and blood. Yes, deeper than flesh and blood. It's through the Spirit, man. Right. But the Most High is dealing with Israel. He's not dealing with any other nation. Yeah. Romans chapter 9, uh, Acts 5, 29. Yeah. Hey, like the Lord told Peter, Blessed are you, Peter, for flesh and blood have not revealed unto thee, unto thee but my Father which is in heaven. And the Apostle Todd did a video based on that, yep. and I was reading that earlier this morning. That right there shows you there's something called a spiritual language. That right. right there shows you the Holy Spirit is really what teaches us. Right. The Holy Spirit teaches us, man. Hey, and the Holy Spirit is what's gathering the brothers together right. all across the world. And that's why it's double skin. Right. Yeah. And then when it demonizes and make us uh, like a terrorist group, who, yeah. who, who, right. the, who the hell are we terrorizing with right. the Bible? Right. We're, what, what do we do? We stand on the corner and we read out the Bible. That's, yep. it. that's what we do. That's all we do. That's why out there in New Jersey, you had to see that guy was a, he's a black Hebrew Israelite. Right. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what proved that? If, if we were the menacing group that you said we are, they would have got this, us off the streets right. a long time ago. A long time ago. And Vocab, there ain't no goddamn way Vocab would have came down <laughs> and be messing with them brothers. Right. One of the reasons Vocab come down messing with, because he know we, our forte is the Bible. He said, well, no. But if we were known to just, any, what you said, what you said, what you said, no, you know, yeah, because yeah. they, 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 they're making us, they're making us seem like we just some niggas yeah. that want to be Israelites. Right. No, we, we follow all the high holy days. We keep the Sabbath. Right. We're not just niggas that think we're Israelites. Right. right. You know, <laughs> you know, just go out and curse the white man out. Yeah. Hit him with a couple of scriptures, right? No, we keep the Sabbath. We keep the high holy days. We don't commit adultery. We don't the, the dietary menu. We got beard, we got beards. These are not fake beards. So there's nothing <laughs> fake about us, man. This ain't no front. This is real, brother. This is real. Right. You That's know? right. And then and then uh, to back up Apostle, uh, the Apostle Paul said, For it pleaseth the Heavenly Father by the foolishness of preaching. To what? To help gather the elect. Right? By the foolishness of preaching. Yes, this is foolish. But yeah, the to them, to them, to right. people, the people, Jake out there that can't get it, right. it, it looks, it, it, it looks foolish. It, it, ain't y'all, ain't y'all grown ass men? Ain't y'all, right. right? You know, don't you guys got jobs? Don't you guys, don't you guys, guys got, got wives, right. children? Because they, right. they look at us as being fools. Right. right. Well, you, the apostle Paul said, "I, be, I am a fool for your house." Should I say? Right. Woo. And he also said, "The foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men." Yeah. Woo. That's right. See, so yeah, we'll be those fools. We we'll be those fools. We'll be that. But, but oh, again, it, it's written, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. men. That's why we out here on the street. This is part of our persuasion. Right. Yeah. The Heavenly Father's persuasion. The Most High could just take this man out. He didn't have to have us come out. But this is the way he set it up. This right. is the move. 
This Foolish is the preacher. We're part of his theatrics. Foolish is the preacher. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're part of his theatrics. This is his theater. We're happy to perform, man. Because when Yahweh Shai come, man, he gonna come with the ass kicking of ass kicking. Oh man. man. He, gonna, <laughs> he come with his shit stomping. Man, he the way Yahweh Shai is coming, put it this way, you this world will never forget how Yahweh Shai came. And remember what Rahab said. She, she said to uh, the spies, uh, she said to the master, we have heard what the Most High have done for you, right. how he dried up the sea, and he did this, and he did that. And, and the, the fear of you, and the dread of you. The fear of you, and the dread of you, and there was no uh, courage left in the men, and Woo. guess what? That's going to be turned up, man. That's right. That's going to be turned up. What the Most High did to so-called Egypt is a, is a walk in the park right. compared to oh, what yeah. he's going to do to this place, man. Oh, yeah. Everything going to fucking stop. When the missiles hit this goddamn place, the and the missiles will hit this goddamn place. That's it. And they're gonna see what? They're gonna see certain people being beamed up, and they're gonna see that they're not being beamed. They're gonna see the ships, you know, they're gonna see the, 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 the UFOs, yep. whatever the, what, the UFOs, the, uh, UAPs, and it's gonna cover the fucking whole planet. That's right. it. Oh, Matthew's 24. Gotcha. From one, cause you always quote that. From yeah, yeah. one end of heaven to the other. From the from the rising of the, uh, the east to the west. That, that's heavy. You said what the pastor said. They shall be gnashing uh, gnashing the teeth. Yep. What the pastor said there. That's that's heavy as hell. Because let's go back to atomic warfare. When the bomb hit Hiroshima, right before it exploded, there's a watch. It was a life magazine. They had a picture of a watch they found, and the watch stopped exactly when the bomb went off. I think it was 815, 816. Yeah, that's called a, a electromagnetic pulse. Yeah, so that was atomic warfare. So he just said, when the bombs hit, everything is gonna stop. So that backs up what he just said. It's in Time, Time Life magazine. You can see it if you Google it. It's a picture that they found. I'm sorry, not a picture, a watch they found. They took a picture of it. It was around 816 when the bomb went off, the first bomb that hit Russia. And then Apostle Ramnav, he did a lesson. He said that there were other bombs that were exploding. Yeah. It's yeah. just that Hiroshima and then Nagasaki, Nagasaki is right. what's most known. Yeah, because they, they got hit, Tokyo got hit, and others got hit, but the final two was uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima Nagasaki. and Nagasaki. Yep, yep. And that was atomic warfare. Yep. So how much more nuclear warfare? Right. That's it. And, and, and Moab, um, Ammon didn't forget. Right. So when, and, and not only Russia, you worry about what the Russians are doing right. in the Ukraine. You better worry about what your al European allies are doing. That's it. The, the members, the member states, or the member nations of uh, uh, NATO, NATO yeah. and the member na NATO, uh, not NATO, but uh, EU. EU. Because every one of those European nations that possess ICE inter intercontinental ballistic missiles, they're going to shoot it off. Yep. I, I looked up the, the word doomsday. If I may read that real quick. It says doomsday, New Testament, Day at the end of time, following Armageddon, when God will decree the fates of all individuals, all, all individual humans, according to the good and evil of their earthly lives. Which they went off. On yeah, that. they went yeah. off. Come. Because you're going to have people that's going to survive and see it. Uh, yeah. right. Revelation 18. You want Matthew 24, Pastor? You go right to the point. Matthew 24 and 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Mm. And those stars falling from heaven are uh, what, what he saw in a vision. I'm, I'm sorry, what the Lord said, that represents a missile. It's yep. going to be looking like stars falling, falling from heaven. That's what I'm talking about nuclear fallout, right? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Those eyes, those, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you got the... Uh, the uh, multiple warheads, you know, that's that's the thing that's going to do the damage. Oh, yeah. With the that's why we speak about this so much, because it's right around the book. Right and we the speak about the mark of the, the, yeah. the, the microchip, the mark of the beast, you know. Yeah. We speak about the awakening Missiles. of Israel, yeah. yep. that the Most High is only dealing with the elect, the elect. Yep. and the destruction. That's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. The Most High is going to gather a certain a number, which are called the elect, and then he's gonna let Esau happen. Yep, yep. He's gonna let him happen. I gotta quit. You saw what happened out there in the Midwest. Oh man, that's Did, tornadoes. You know how many tornadoes oh, yeah. hit? Fifty tornadoes. And there was the the, the tornadoes went for two hundred over two hundred miles. 
So now, now check this out. I did it there. I was telling y'all I had to pick up somebody and take their ass all the way up to fucking Cape oh, yeah, New York yeah, yeah. at night. And as soon as I dropped that book of dog, I had to come back down here to the city. I did it, man. I was mad as hell, but I did it. That's that's uh, 80 miles. Yeah. So you, you're talking about 200 miles. You're talking about uh, what is that? Five hours of driving. Yeah. So if you if you was to drive side by side of a tornado. For five hours, that tornado was tearing shit up. So that's not no coincidence. That's the most high. That's the angels too. And 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 Esau Esau come up with some logical explanation. Yeah. Uh, the natural uh, man. Uh, what, what they call it? They call it uh, global warming. And this yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the most high is gonna start doing so many things that you are gonna say this is not no coincidence. Right. This is not logical. Right. This is coming from a higher power. See, Esau don't believe in the most side. That's why he's a goddamn fool. Yeah. And he, he might say, well, it might leak out. Oh, there was a weather weather modification. They got uh, uh, instruments that can do that, create that. Yeah, and so the Heavenly Father, at the end of the day, you can't do it unless the Heavenly Father allow you to that's do it. it. That's, that's the point. Man's going after the Lord. It all goes back to the Heavenly Father. You can't escape the Heavenly Father, Esau. The Heavenly Father created you. You're right. stupid ass. Fool. So how the hell are you going to create the Heavenly Father? Uh, how the hell are you going to bypass the Heavenly Father? That's right. I got a quick piece up. Uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's why we're here. We ain't going to say God bless America. We forget about that, man. God destroy America. Who said, who said uh, fuel of fire, was that Isaiah 6? Uh, nine, I think it is. I believe it's 9 and 5. 9 and 5. 9 and 5. I get it. Isaiah. By the way, the word America means bitter, man. And that's what this place is, it's bitter. Yep. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Mm. But that perfect scene that come to mind is uh, the first scene of uh, Gladiator. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you had the dramatic tribes up yeah. in the woods and no man's land. Then you had the Rome, the Roman military and they went they went at it, man. You heard all that people screaming, right. they heard the blood and all that. The body parts flying. Yep, blood. Body, body parts flying. Yep. Or oh, oh, that scene from uh, the very first battle in Braveheart. Yep, the Scots yep, yep. battle against the, the English. Yep. They won the battle, man. Huh? You said the Brave Ones, right? Yeah, Brave, Brave Ones. Yeah, yeah. these garments were rolled in blood. Yeah. Motherfuckers get their arms hacked off. Yeah. Those so are the, the ancient battle wars. was brutal back then, man. Hey, another movie. Uh, what's the name of that movie? Uh, Denzel was in it. That movie oh, about oh, Glory. The, glory. 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 Yeah, Glory. I remember the last scene yeah. when them, them Edomites got him. Yeah. And they they didn't have no mercy, man. They killed all them Jakes. And they killed the one cracker. And they were stabbing him up. There, you, in other words, when you see an enemy, you don't want to shoot him from afar. Right. You want to get up close yes, and jump yes, him. person. fucking head off, man. not your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get up on him. Because you're looking that's... at this guy as a fucking enemy. Right, 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 right. And that's how we're going to be when the Most High put the spirit not on us. We, we the prophets. These Jakes out here, these wild ass, fucking crazy ass Jakes, he gonna put that spirit on Jake, yep. and they already doing it out there in fucking LA, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, 2022, the most high gonna turn, turn up. Turn he up. gonna turn up, man. You know what he gonna do? Yeah, the turn up too. They starting to run up in people's houses in, in LA. Man. Oh yeah, well they, what they do now is they follow you, and they're not stealing yeah, yeah, your yeah. watch. They're yeah. stealing you goddamn food, man. Yeah. Now when they push that 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 chip, and you can't go to the store, yeah. you gonna eat. A nigga's gonna eat at the end of the day. Yeah, that's right. He gonna see, you know, uh, Betty, Betty, Sue. Betty Crocker, you know, with the bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a nigga gonna yeah, follow yeah. after her ass. Yep, yep. Can I help you? Boom. Yep. And take all her damn yep. food and dip it up. I don't that's eat it. pork. I don't eat this. Yep, I don't like this done. shit. I'm gonna I'm have all this. So Jake, you know, shit's going. Like I said. Sh Shit's gonna get turned up, man. Yes, sir. To back up the scripture on that, because uh, and because iniquity shall, shall abound, abound, the love, love of many, many shall wax, wax cold. cold. Yep. So that's an example of the love of many waxing cold. Yep. Oh yeah. There, there won't be no love for no old woman, 
old yeah. man, young children. You gotta eat. You gotta eat, you gotta eat. No boundaries. I got a quick piece of Yeah. And plus, Jake is mad at Esau any fucking Yeah, yeah, there's a whole. Like all the shit that you gotta, you've been yep. dealing with, the shit that I gotta fucking go through. Yeah, you school. know, you go to a fucking supermarket and you know, you know they're following your motherfucking ass. Yep. You know? Yeah, Esau, you gotta pay, as it is written, the most I require of the past. So if you go back a few lifetimes in your past, you were doing all kind of wickedness. To You're doing people. all kind of wickedness right fucking now. Yeah. So you got to pay. You got look. The scripture say the Most High requires the past. So you got to pay for it. Look, Yahweh Shine, he paid for what he did in the past. That's why he went on the cross. The, the, the uh, Nathan the prophet told David, look, if your son commit iniquity, he he will be chastened with the with the stripes of men. Yep. 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 Solomon was never chastened with the stripes of men. So when did that happen? When Yahweh Shai came on the scene, who was Solomon? He was chastened. He was whipped. There's no coincidence, man. Vocab. He was paying for what he did in his past. Right. So if that's the son, the only begotten son of the Lord, paying for what he did in his past, what make you think, Esau, yeah. you ain't gonna pay for what you did in your Ooh. past when you ain't even? Calm down, brother. Calm down. When you when you you give me nervous. You give me nervous, buddy. I'm yeah, listening. yeah. What make you think you ain't gonna pay for exactly. what you did in the past? When right. you're not even the, the chosen of the Lord. He hey, did that to his only son. Guess what? Guess what? Today is. Today is we cursing out Esau. Cursing out Esau day. <laughs> cursing out E. I thought I thought today was white boy day. No, it's Esau day. Marty, it ain't, it ain't white boy day. But what's, what's, what's the point? You gotta pay for what you did in your past. You man. gotta fucking pay. You gotta damn, pay, man. Yeah, you it. gotta fucking pay, man. Hey, you know, can, can you, you, the reason why we the fuck over here yeah. is because you grabbed us up from West Africa and exactly. brought us over here against our wills. Uh, separate our fucking families, yeah, man. That's right. What about yeah. that? Put us, put us on auction blocks. Watch the movie 12 Years of a Slave. Watch the movie Roots. Watch the movie Mandingo. There you go. When they came, when they first started coming over here, they had signs up. Before they were saying Negroes for sale, they were calling e -bones. Hebo's. What the fuck you think a Hebo is? Right. Yeah. Because them cockers couldn't speak good. They still can't speak good. They still can't speak good. They're trying to say Hebrew. I have Job, a precept. Job said that you braid in the, in the, right. in the, in the nettles, man. You <laughs> 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 fucking devil. Now all of a sudden, you're the big, you're yeah. the big man, right? you all that in the bag of chips, and right? You ain't this. shit. I'm going to say this. You... <laughs> like... Hey, the ones of you, Jakes, that join on with this devil, you doing this fucking bit? What does it say? Go he hand had his joint. Go hand joint it in hand. Yeah. The, the, wicked, uh, 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 the uh, wicked shall not be unpunished. Right. Uh, Isaiah 13. Uh, you don't got to go to it. It says, they that are joined with them shall what? Be slain by the sword. Ooh. What's the sword? The most high sword is the missile, man. Yeah. yeah. And it really ain't us. It's, it's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai that's on us yeah. that make us talk the way we talk, act the way we... It's not us. Yeah. It's yeah. far beyond us. It's the law. It's the, look, you don't want the Heavenly Father to come down and speak. There's an account in Exodus 20 when the children of Israel said, look, we're tired of speaking to you, Moses. We want to speak to the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. So the Heavenly Father said, yeah, okay, they want to speak to me. He said, look, make sure they sanctify themselves for three days, yep. come not at their wives, and on the third day I'm going to come down and speak to them. Man, even before the Heavenly Father spoke, they right. saw the thunder, and they said, no, 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 uh, no, Moses, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll speak yeah, to you. Yeah, because, man, fucking Jacob's selling one man. Yeah. Then they got that fear. The most I'm going to put some fear in your heart. Oh, man. yeah. And when you see them, fuck, the missiles come out, the atmosphere, and you, and you see shit, you look miles down, you see a fucking, fucking blast. You know, you're yep. gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose it, man. Some motherfuckers are gonna be shitting on themselves, oh, yeah. pissing on themselves, men's heart failing throwing them. up, yeah. men's heart filling them. They're gonna stroke out. Stroke they're gonna out. get heart attacks, and they're gonna, and the ones that, that can see, they're gonna say, ah! <laughs> they're gonna have that look, that look of horror, man. Right. The, the adrenaline goes up, man. Oh yeah. That 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 fight or flight. Uh, kicks in, yeah. and you can't run no motherfucking way, man. Where you gonna you run? ain't gonna fight the missiles, so you <laughs> might as well try to outrun a missile. You ain't outrunning no motherfucking missiles. Oh hell no! They're like, the, bow the, down to the where you gonna run to? Who, who you gonna run to? Scripture, <laughs> <laughs> you got it, bro. Jeremiah chapter forty-nine, verse twelve. Again, again, again this is why it's written. This is why it's written. Knowing the terror of the Lord. Look, we know the terror of the Lord. 
We're telling you the terror of the Lord. And the, another thing, yeah. you guys that came into this truth and you went back into the world, you acting like, oh, I'm just back in the world. Guess what? You're going to suffer the same death as sure. these Edomites. As Edomites. Yeah. Yeah. It was better for you not to have come into this than to come into this and to, and to leave out. Uh, uh, second uh, Peter's uh, 20. Yeah, to, to back up Second Peter's, Second Peter's 2 verse 20. Okay. Yeah, because you yeah. you treated this thing, you, which Yahweh had to sacrifice his body for you to get this thing. You treated his sacrifice as an unworthy thing. That's written in the scriptures. All right, Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Yeah, that's us, us Israelites. We, we drank of that cup. We went into captivity, uh, captivity upon captivity upon captivity. It tells you in Daniel 9, no other nation suffered like we suffered. Clearly that's written in Daniel the ninth chapter, around the 11th verse. And then it starts out with, yea, Israel, all Israel have transgressed thy laws. That's what it says. And the evil that came upon us, no other nation have gone through that evil. So we drank of that cup and then some. Go ahead, sir. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? So that's directed to you, Esau. Yep. You think you're going to go unpunished? The punishment's on its way. Go ahead. Thou shalt not go unpunished. There you go. But thou shalt surely drink of it. So the same cup we drank of, you're going to drink of it. And then in Revelation it says double. double. All right, so all the curses that we went through, as a matter of fact, you know what scripture links up with that? Lamentations, the fourth chapter. It says that the cup, as a matter of fact, after you read that, if you can okay. go to Lamentation, make a point. Yeah, I was just going to call for it. I was just writing my book. I said, let me call for that with the spirit. That's the spirit. Then I kind of said, nah, but then the spirit jumped on you to bring it out anyway. Yep. Yeah, because that's why we had, we had to teach it. Apostle Elatar says it all the time, just teach the scriptures. Just teach the scriptures. That's why we had, man. Go ahead. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Right. And uh, every time you see the Rothschilds, they're always glad. That motherfucker, Jacob Rothschild, he stayed with a smile on his face. Elin, uh, uh, Evelyn Rothschild. And they should be. They should be happy as hell. They, they, they rule the world. They, they have everything. They're on top. Yep. They're top on top. The, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Langolos, the you, you, families. The Lazards. The Lazards. Families you guys ain't never even heard about. Birds. Families that you are don't hear about them because the super rich did not want to tell you that they're super rich. You ain't worthy to, to have it's such a information. Mix, it's the uh, <laughs> right. It's it's the uh, it's the uh, how can I say? It's the uh, vassals. Right. You know what a vassal is? The middle the middle guy. Yeah. Elon Musk is a vassal. Jeff Bezos is a vassal. They're all vassals, but they yeah. they're worth hundreds of billions of dollars. So if they're worth hundreds of billions of dollars, how much you think? The Rockefellers and the Rothschilds that don't even want you to know them is worth. They're worth trillions, man. Liquid. Yeah, the Bible calls them the kings of the earth. There's a picture of Elon Rothschild talking to uh, Prince, Prince, uh, what's his name? Uh, Prince Charles? The ones with the, the one with the big ass. Prince Charles, right? He's a bastard. Yeah. Guy. He's a middle guy. Prince Charles. There's a picture of Elon, Elon Rothschild talking to Prince Charles like this. Oh, pointing yeah. at him, man. Yeah, yeah. This is Prince Charles. Part of the so-called British royalty, which is a fake royalty. They're not the real royalty, right? And he's talking to him like this, like he, like he's a nobody. Because he is a nobody. He's a vassal, middleman. So all throughout uh, history, you had lords or overlords. You had vassals, absolutely. and then you had serfs. We are the serfs, the ones of you that get up and work, nurses and doctors and all that, and policemen and firemen. You're nothing but a fucking surf, man. Yep. Yeah. And there's always a tobacco pasta. There's always they don't a cast. give a shit about you either. That's why they, they, if you don't want to take this uh, jab, you got to go, man. Yeah. 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 There's always been a caste system. There's always been a caste system. There's always been levels. And you always been on the lowest level. And we've been on the bottom. A bunch of chumps. For what seem for whatever. <laughs> you know? <laughs> go ahead, bro. All right. It says Lamentation chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. So that's these banking families. They're enjoying themselves. Go ahead. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Uh oh Yeah, you just read that in uh, Jeremiah 49. Yeah. Yep. So, 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 
That links up with Job 21 as well, right? Bring it out. Bring it out, but let him finish his and you bring it up. It says, the cup also shall pass through unto thee, thou shalt be drunken, and shall make thyself naked. That's right. Meaning all the curses, the cup is a metaphor for all the curses that we went through. You're going to go through it. So if you want to know your future, all you got to do is read uh, Deuteronomy starting at the 15th, uh, 16th verse. The curse shall thou be in the city, and, 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 the, and the curse of slavery is going to come upon you bankers. Because you're going to be the first slaves, Psalm 147, to bind their kings with ch chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. Who do you think that's talking about? That's talking about your top banking family. Phil, when did that happen? Huh? You're going to be rounded up. That's why you're going to, you're going to, you're going to survive the destruction that's coming. The elite. The, the elite, the top elite, because you're going to be rounded up. You've got to, you've got to fulfill that prophecy. The rest of you that's here on this land called America, if you don't get, if you ain't on one of them ships, or you ain't in an underground city, underwater, or if you ain't on some mountain retreat, retreat in a neutral country, you gonna be, you gonna be destroyed. Finished. You gonna be liquefied. Liquidated. You gonna be burnt to a nuclear crisp. Oh, yeah. You gonna be the chaff in the wind. Sure. You're not gonna recognize nothing in America. Nope. Go ahead. The confusion. It's it says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yeah, I'll bet, uh, the reason why we went into slavery, because we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. That's why we're on the bottom, man. That's the simple answer. That's it. Yeah. Ain't because uh, you so-called white people are so smart, you're so superior, and we're inferior, or whatever the bullshit y'all come up with. The simple answer is this. As a nation, we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. So we pun when you break a law, there's a punishment, man. Right. When you break Esau's law, there's a punishment. So what makes you think when you when you break God's law, there ain't going to be a punishment? That's our punishment. We came into slavery. We're on the bottom. We're suffering all these curses. Now our, this, our punishment time is almost up. That's what he's reading there. You can't get around. He that, he that leaves in the captivity shall go into captivity. That's right. That's it. He that killeth with the sword. Must, must be killed, killed with must. the sword. Here, is, Here the, is the patience yeah. and the faith of the saints. That's it. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Those who have made a covenant with by, the, sacrifice. by sacrifice. With by sacrifice. That's it. That's I, it, baby. I got something real quick. Because Pastor mentioned about, you know, after the destruction is going to be all, everything's going to be messed up. Isaiah 34, 11. But the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it, and the owl shall... Uh, the owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stone of emptiness. Yeah, that's talking about the destruction of America. Right. The, li the uh, uh, line of confusion. Like now, you know where, uh, what? You know where New York begins and uh, what? New Connecticut Jersey, ends. Jersey. Or Jersey yeah. ends. Or the Jersey, yeah. Yeah. Water, Connecticut. Welcome to New York. Welcome yeah, well, to New York. Yeah, well, even in the different boroughs, you got the sound. Welcome to Brooklyn, welcome to Bronx. Well, when the missiles hit, you ain't gonna know where it's went. This is gonna be one big, fast desert. Right. That's it. And nobody's gonna dwell on this land. Nobody's gonna step through this land. Nope. When you buy, pass it by in a ship, yep. you're gonna look down and you're gonna remember that's when you call hell. Yep. That's Babylon the Great. The place of bitterness, America. Which America means bitter. It was born bitterly, it's gonna go out bitterly. That's and, what it means, America. And it's funny, uh, yeah, that's uh, Revelation 18. Yeah. It was by violence. Yeah. Um, right. That's that in the movie uh, Planet of the Apes. They call it the Forbidden Zone. The Forbidden Zone. Because nobody's going to dwell here. And it's it was forbidden. a desert. It was yeah. a desert. It was a desert, desert yeah. Huh? I've been to the desert on yeah, a Yeah, because all that time you thought he was on another planet. You know, Charlton Heston, you, you watching the movie, yep, you think yep. he's on some crazy planet where yeah. apes were ruling. Well, by the way, the apes is a metaphor of us. Right. No, no, no brainer there. Anyway, uh, you think it's another planet, then you find out towards the end of the movie, oh shit, he's on the planet Earth, and not only that, he's in New York, New York right? Because right. yeah. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> then he did that dramatic piece of acting. You did it! You did it! <laughs> you bust Damn you all to hell! Damn you! Damn you! Hey, even in the second movie, when the other dude went that one underground, he James went into the subway. Yep. He went in the subway and they saw the, the platform for the subways in New York. Yeah. I forgot what... what Something what, about New York, man. It's always, but you yeah. know why? And 
all the past stuff brought that out a long time ago. This is the Empire State. Right. See, New York is the Empire State right. of, of these devils. Yeah, of Excelsior. Devils. Excelsior. 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 Yeah. When you go over to George Washington Bridge, you see the. Uh, the uh, what, actually, it's a coat of arms. Coat of arms. Really. Yeah. You know, and it says Excelsior. Excelsior. Yeah. It's because it's the most exalted. It really, pretty much. Excelsior it's, means to excel. Yeah. It's it's the the capital of America. Yeah. You had the song New York, New York. You went Frank to Sinatra. UN is here. The yep. World Trade Center. World yep. Trade Center. Yep. yep. The one World Trade Center is now here, which replaced the two towers. Yep. Everybody wants to come to New York. And yep. the truth came out of New York. The truth it came out of Texas or right. California or Chicago. Sure did. Sure did. It came out of New York. It came out of New York. Hey, well, that's what the Lord said. And I will, in this mountain, uh, cast, you know, the amount, uh, what, what's the, how's that going? Isaiah like, 25? The Lord will, in this mountain, mm -hmm. uh, put, pull the veil back or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead and read it. Yeah, come. Matter of uh, fact, um, uh, uh, the uh, covering cast. Say, there years ago, we used to say that uh, Harlem is spiritually Jerusalem. We right. used to say that years ago. That yep. The school, One West, which the truth came out of One West. Elder Pastor says that all the time. Yep. That's why uh, vocab is a uh, One Westers. Uh, one Westers. Yes. Why? Because the truth came out of there. Come. Yeah, the last time we went over there, what, a year and a half ago, an angel came up. Oh, yeah. And that, uh, dude, that dude was an angel. He wasn't, okay. he wasn't no... Uh, regular person. The stuff okay. that he said, the first thing he said was yeah. he saw chariots pass by. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know? And then under, under our breath we said, uh, we quoted Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews first, 13 and he quoted it. Yeah. Huh? yeah, he quoted it. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 25 and verse 7. It says, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So the truth we see going on now and the exposing and all the different camps around the world started here in America, specifically in Harlem, New York. That's right. That's right. You know? Facts. So Facts. Every, every camp you see around the world, no matter what they call themselves, they had the origins here in From New York. From one west. From one all west. All these other camps that made up, yep. they watched our videos. Can we never put up a video, IUIC or any of them groups put up a video? These guys wouldn't be out here telling you that they're Israelites. That's right. They learn, they, although they'll say we didn't learn it from y'all. Yes, you did learn it from us. Right. If you didn't learn it from from us at uh, GMS, you learned it from IUIC. Right. You know, or you learned it from some other people. Right. Or you learned it from a group that came out of a one West. That's group. it. That's it. Like Sakari. Yeah. People are following Sakari. Sakari came out of uh, GMS. Out of GMS. And we came out of one West. Right. IUIC. Nate. Nate came out of. Uh, Nate West. came out of one West. How do we know? Now Nate was, came out of one of us. Yeah, Nate was put in uh, Elder Pastor's camp. At one time, Elder Pastor had over 50 men in his camp. All right, and me and, uh, actually it's me, um, Nate, and uh, Apostle Elder Ricard. We're the only three that's really left. Everybody else, we don't know where the hell they're at. Yeah, those are the only three. Ricard, myself, and uh, Nathaniel, Bishop Nathaniel. He was a part of that original camp, man. And um, this guy, Johanna, he had his own camp. Yep. So now, dealing with that, dealing with some of the history, you had Marsha, Arya, and Yaikwa. Those are three, those are the, those are the three men, of, uh, Peter, James, and John, yep. in the scriptures. Okay? Yep. yep. Peter, James, and John, which were which was raised up by who? By Ozzy, right. which was Elijah. Didn't he call uh, King Masha and uh, High Priest Arya to his deathbed before he passed? Yeah, yeah. And he kind of gave him, sent, you know, gave him the blessings. Right. That that, that, that the, the thing is on you now. Right. You know? We pass it on. These, and these two men, they're going to be back, man. They're going to be back. Right. They're going to be young. They're going to be vibrant. Because we understand death, man. We understand there's no such thing as death. As as Yahweh yeah, Shai said, for all live unto the Father. Right. What does that mean? <clears throat> so these two men, they're going to come back and take their rightful place in this nation. That's nothing. That's easy. It only makes sense. It only makes sense that, that these three that we mentioned are set up by the Most High because they were taught directly by Abba, yeah. which it has to be Elijah. You know? Hey, uh, Lamentations 4, 22. For the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. That's slavery. 
So we ain't going into slavery no more. Good. He will and that fit. shows you right there, it's God that brought us into slavery. Right. So for you knuckle-headed niggas out there, I don't know why we came, God brought us into slavery, man, mm -hmm. because of our past. That proves the Lord requires the past. What we did in our past. What we did in our past. And what Esau is doing now and in his past, he's got to pay for it. There's no way around it. And every last one of you Edomites are going into captivity. Every your last one. Your grandmother, your grandfather, your children, your cousins, your uncles, yep. your babies, yep. they're all going into captivity. Absolutely. Under who? The nation of Israel. Absolutely. Yeah, scripture to back yeah. up possibly before. It says, uh, Isaiah 42, 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we had sinned? You hear that? Did you hear that scripture? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and call it again. Read it, it says, uh, Isaiah 42, 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Who's the robbers? <laughs> the so-called white man's the robbers. Esau. Yep. If you say, now, nah, well, uh, well, how did the so-called white man get America? Did he burn candles for it? No, he stole it, man. All right, so he's the robber. Go ahead, bro. He, steal, he steals everything everything he can get his hands on. Yep. All of a sudden now, he's rock and roll represents, rock and roll represents a so-called white man. We created rock and roll. Right? He just stole it. When you get a chance, get a uh, John 10 and 10. Come. It says, who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Yep. Did not the Lord? Did he, not the Lord. Go ahead. He against whom we have sinned. There you go. And we sinned in our past life. That's why King David wisely said, Oh Lord, blot out my transgressions. Why? Not only the transgressions we did in this life, but in our past life, man. Blot out my transgressions. That's what King David said. It says, For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Yep. Therefore he had poured upon him the fury of his anger. The fury of his anger. When you see those cargo slave ships, when you see Jake piled up like sardines, that's the fury of God's anger. That's how mad he was. When I say mad, meaning angry. That's why he allowed our people to be piled up like sardines in a, in a goddamn slave ship. That was the anger of God. That was his anger and coming you, out. And you're going to say that uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 is not talking about Jake? <laughs> yeah. uh, vocab, that, that fucking clown, vocab. Oh, it's talking about uh, 78 D. Uh, and we went back to Egypt, okay. which is true. We, a lot of us did go into Egypt, but that happened before 78 D. During the time of the uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, right. a lot of us went down into, into Egypt to serve slavery. Not all of us as a nation, but a lot of us stayed there and set up communities. That's why the Lord's parents went into Egypt, because there was communities of Israelites down there, man. Yep. And, and, and you, if you think that the most horrific event that the world has ever seen, that slave trade, if you think it's not in the Bible, you're not thinking. That event is in the Bible. Joel, well, th the third chapter and the third verse tell you that. Yep. That's horrific. You keep, you, yeah. I'm sorry, you okay. can't get around, you can't get around, Joel. You can't get around Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and you can't, you damn sure can't get around uh, Deuteron um, Joel 3 verse 3. Right. Yeah. Yep. They sold a girl for wine that they made drink. Right. Yeah. So that event for slavery is in the Bible. And the reason why we went into slavery, you was reading it, right? John. Apostle Elder Rama was reading it. Yep. Isaiah 42. Go ahead, bro. And um, they don't, you're not gonna, a lot of you Jakes don't know these scriptures because you're, you're that hypocrite in the pulpit, which he wasn't chosen to teach you. They don't go into scriptures like that because they don't know. A lot of them don't know, and some of them that do know, they have sold out to the high elite under something called a 501c3 tax statute, okay, which is a, really a gag order. When you go into the history of it, it was created by uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson. You go into the history of that, that shit. So they have told, the wicked elite have told your pastors to shut up if they know that truth, to shut up, don't speak about it. You gotta go. Yeah, it says, um, therefore he had poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle. Yep. And they have set him on fire round about, yep. yet he knew not. And yet he knew not. The majority of our people don't even know. Mm -hmm. If you ask the average so-called black man, well, why did we come into slavery? They'll give you all kinds of scenarios except the simple scenario of, well, as a nation of Israel, we sinned against the Lord, so the Lord punished us by allowing us to go into slavery. They ain't going to tell you that. 
Which Jake out there is going to tell you that? <laughs> it's but safe. that's the truth. Bro, just think, man. The only ones that's going to get it are the ones at the most side open up their the third eye, the skirt. If the most high ain't open up your third eye, you're not going to get it. And if you're not of the elect, I don't give a damn how who you are with us or we hope, hope, hope that we're elect. We're going to say it humbly, right? Come. But let's say, well, who else can it be talking about? Who got, who's the prophets on the planet Earth? It has to be us. Absolutely. But humbly we say, oh. humbly, yeah. if, we're, if we're the elect. Yeah. All right? But yeah. how do you know that we're the prophets? Because we've been doing this, I've been doing this for over 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Every weekend, every weekend, every weekend, during the week, doing videos, man. Yeah. You see these other guys, Johanna, he don't he don't even do classes. <laughs> he went out for a hot three years, you know, every video, Johanna burns up Times Square. Johanna does this. <laughs> Johanna burns up the white man. Shot fire. <laughs> then three years he retires. Yeah. But you don't up. retire with this man. Right, a right, prophet right. does not retire. No, no. Did John the Revelator retire? Nope. nope. He was almost 100 years old, yep. 90 some, 95, 100 years old, sentenced to the Isle of Patmos, right. yep. and he died up there. Hey, Paul addressed one of them churches that said, Paul the Aged. Paul the Aged. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Stop. John? And Paul was a young man. No, he was old. What, but he was, and, and as far as length, Con. elder. You know? Tobacco Pastor, star, that's heavy what he said. John didn't have no team of writers writing the visions that he saw, mm. which would later become the book of Revelation. Right. So the question is, who wrote all those revelations? Who wrote them? John did. He didn't, there's no history that says that John had a team of writers, a right. bunch of guys working with him to write down. And there's a, lot of, there's a lot written in Revelation. He was there by himself. He was there by himself, serving the sentence. So he had to write down everything he saw. He had to write it down. So we could have it in the last days. Now, there was a Revelation 10. He saw visions and he was bent, began to write, and the angels said, don't write. Right. So nobody knows what what the, what the vision that he saw. Yeah, right. at least in, in the Apocrypha, you have uh, you had Esdras. Esdras had a team of writers with him. You had uh, Demria. Oh, yeah. You had, the, 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 oh, was it uh, five? It was five of them. Yeah, it was five together. of them. Yep. Yeah, one of them, uh, his name was Dembria. I remember. It says that in the apartment, them grip. So, but the point is, the point is, Ezra's had a team of writers with him, right? John did not. John, everything you you read in Revelation, John wrote it by himself, handwritten by himself. So that backs up what Elder Pastor said. He was working, man, and he was an old man, and he was putting in that work. So what's you niggas out there that ain't doing the work? What's your excuse, man? Yep. You ain't got no fucking excuse. <laughs> You go. You know what happened? You gonna keep speaking excuses until you run out of excuses. There's a scripture where it says the servant told them. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. The master told the servant go and do the work, and they had a bunch of excuses. Yeah. Well, I married a wife. Well, I did this. Well, I did that. <laughs> yeah. You know. I, I got a quick precept. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Ecclesiasticus 11 and 20. Be steadfast in thy covenant, and be conversant therein, and wax old in thy work. So there's no retirement plan for a man of the Lord. You you know when you retire when you die. That's it. That's it. That's when you retire pretty much. Yeah. Or when the kingdom comes. That's when you rest. Then we you got these fucking clowns out here in the mother camps. Even even like you said that earlier. Yeah. You don't even see uh Nate's face no more. You you do hear his voice. Yeah, you see voice. pictures, man. And at one time he was out there teaching. And he don't go out. He, what was the last time he been on the highways in the Bible? Yep. There's no. In other words, the most I's not gonna say, okay, if you do 20 years, right. you can chill out. No, I've been doing this for 36 years, yep. going on 37 years, still doing it. Yep. I believe I'm on fire. Yep. Do you think I'm on fire? Fine, sir. If yep. I'm not, tell me. No, nah, no, nah, you kind of lukewarm. You gotta get <laughs> set the game up. Well, I'll do it. Even you know? that sounds crazy. Apostle Elder Tall, lukewarm. What? Say uh, what? <laughs> Go ahead. Quick precept that reminds me of you. Okay. Uh, it's Psalms 1 and 1 through 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh, and in the law he doth
though he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Well, I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> good, 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 good scripture. Well, to, to back you up. Uh, but that applies to the bar. All day. You know? Yeah, well, we were talking. All the men, brothers from Connecticut, these your young food. men, yeah. you know? Exactly. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, there's going to come a time when you're going to graduate and you're going to have to get your own food, brother. You know? <laughs> you're getting there, brother. You're getting there, man. It's going to be a time in the near future you don't got to come around us no more. You know? Yeah, you don't want to You're going to have to set up your own, you know? Yeah. You don't want to be in that time, tree. In time, you know. You don't because want to be that tree. Yeah, because, because you don't, you don't get, you don't get delivered because you was a, 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 a witness. You know, yeah, yeah. you were standing around witnessing. You know, yeah, yeah. You, know you witnessed the prophets. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta teach. Oh, yeah. You know, where's that scripture? Uh, Paul spoke to Timothy. Now, the town may teach also. Oh, faithful men. Faithful men. Second Timothy. He's something like yeah. Second, second. Yeah. Go to 2 Timothy, uh, uh, I got verse 1. Go I'm there, I'm there. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. 2 Timothy 2, verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who you shall... Know what that means? If you know a guy, he's wishy-washy, you ain't supposed to teach him, man. You know, you got to be on fire. The, uh, the Apostle Paul said that you show the same diligence, man. To the fullest that you show the same diligence. If Paul was on fire, everybody around him was supposed to be on fire. Yep. It's good to speak about being lukewarm, whether you're hot or cold. So, you know, we'll, we'll get an attitude, man. We'll look at you sideways. Oh, yeah. if, we don't, if we don't see you getting this, man, because we're going against the most high, because what are we doing? We're giving, we're giving, um, uh, what is it? Uh, pearls to swine. Right. And we did we did that with guys coming in. These guys, different guys coming in from different states. A lot of them guys fell off. And then they, what did they do? They started talking shit about us, man. Yeah. Yeah. Did not guys to to, to back up Pascal, the accountant for uh, Paul and Barnabas. You know, uh, 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 Barnabas wanted to take Mark. Paul said no. Mark wasn't as diligent as he should be. He so didn't come with us to, to, to yeah. work. So there was that contention between them, and they kind of split. All the, they split. They yeah. kind of. They split. They, they split. The Apostle Paul got with uh, the Silas. Right. And it, it was over what? The, the fact that Mark wasn't as diligent as he should be in the faith. So that, that backs up. That's an example. You got, you got a piece up? Uh, 2 John 1 and 10. If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, Neither bid him God speed, for he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Read that again. Um, Second John one and ten. If there come unto you any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house. Right. Neither bid him God speed, for he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Yeah, so if you know a guy ain't right. You gotta get. You gotta get rid of him, man. <laughs> you gotta get. You gotta. Cole, get rid of him. Push him to the side. You want to back up our start, Judas Iscariot. When the time came, Yahushua always knew Judas, Judas Iscariot wasn't right. That he was really carnal. He wasn't as spiritual as he was supposed to be. So when the time came, Yahushua told him, gave him his walking papers. Yahushua actually told him, look, that what you got to do, you go and do it now. And the scriptures say immediately he got up and went and left. He left the Passover meal and went and betrayed Yahushua. And then later he brought the soldiers to the Garden of Gethsemane, and we know what happened then. <laughs> because that was his luck. That was, you know. But then later he, he felt sorry and he went and hung himself. But it was too late. He already did the job. And he did it because the most I said most of it. Yep. That was his luck. Man going out is of the Lord. How did man if you set up to be a, a demon, there's yep. nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. That's it. You gotta do it. That's how now that's how heavy this thing is. You hear what the pastor just said? If you set up to be a demon, bro, there's nothing you can do. You know? <laughs> Guys that come into this thing and do so many years and they fall out, your your works don't follow you, man. All that work that you did was for nothing. 
That's why you got to take this thing serious. Yeah, that, like King David said, uh, let the meditation of my heart and, and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh. That's a hell of a spirit to have. You know? hey, a good uh, example of that is uh, these guys, Popey. Uh, people have been getting cussing these guys out. They did a video, they've been doing videos. They took, about two, three years ago, they took a year off and they came back slowly. But they came back with a whole different doctrine. But then, recently, or maybe two weeks, a month ago, they didn't do videos for about a good three weeks. And then they just recently came back. I've been thinking the video said they were back. Every time somebody said we're back, man, you know, my question is where the fuck did you go in the first place? Right. Now you got to look at that, the doctrine that they were teaching. They were teaching that all the tribes are black, that uh, Gad, so called Gadites, Issachar, they're all heathen because they came with their own doctrine. But you know what? That's that, that goes back to the uh, the oil, the virgins, right. the yeah, 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 yeah. That's why they take breaks. Right. Like they took a whole year off. But then when they came back, like I said, they came back with a whole different uh, gospel. Yeah. You know? So yeah. now they're out of there, man. Because uh, I think you made a video on, on them. I think uh, Yashawamba, Yashawamba yeah, and I caught, I made a video on it, I said, you guys are not uh, men of the Lord. Yeah, I do and got I a high time to their face. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. God talking about, he, Sean, Sean trying to talk about, I feel like committing suicide. What man, what Israelite man feels like that? <laughs> I feel like committing suicide. That means he's dead. He's dead from the neck up. <laughs> and they said they felt like a burden. Well, wait a minute, the scriptures say that. Yeah. yeah. There's Second a burden. Man. It says bear your cross daily. Right. Yeah. So what the hell are you complaining about? Right. Yeah, Micah, I will bear I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Right. Indignation of the Lord, another word for that is burden. Right. Until he, until he plead my cause. You know? There's, yeah. there's an end to the burden. This is a sentence. Yeah. The sentence yeah. ain't easy. This is not it's not yeah. supposed to be a walk of the park. Yeah. Hey, um Yahweh I said, you know, that you bear your cross. Yeah. He that beareth not his cross cannot be my disciple. He said, that's what he said. And the Lord Yahweh Shai had healed this man. He had the demons on him called Legion. And when he healed him, the man wanted to follow him sincerely. Yep. And the Lord said no. Why? Because he wasn't a part of yep. the elect. Just because you know you're an Israelite doesn't mean that you're a part of the elect. Yep. And that's heavy what Elder Pastor said earlier about the virgins. Now the parable says, then they all trim their lamps. You know what that means? Turn up the lamp. So now, as we're getting closer to the end, this gospel is being turned up. And if you ain't turned up, 2022, how the hell are you gonna be turned yeah, up if you ain't got no oil? He's turning it up. Is it not written whose fan is in his hand? Oh, yeah. So guess what? He's fanning the flames even higher. So did not the prophecy say I will send uh, 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 fanners to Babylon and they shall fan them? So we're in that time now. So as it gets turned up, if you ain't got no oil, your lamp can't be turned up. You gotta have that oil, and, and the oil is given to us by who? Yahweh You go to trim that lamp, yeah, and yeah. there's and there's no oil in it, and you gotta find a can of oil. Right. I remember seven. as a kid, I don't know who gave it to me, but I had an actual lamp, and, and when it, you put you put oil in the lamp, right. and then you and then you, you had this thing where you light it up. And then there's, there's you know, the screw that you can make it high or yep, low, yep, 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 you know? I remember that. And um, if you don't got no oil in the lamp, yep. you got to look, where's that can at? Yep. So these guys ran out of oil, and they're looking for that can, but they can't find the yeah. can. Yeah, hey, because the, the wick where it was at, it would go down and into the, the oil. It goes exactly, down into the oil. Exactly, and then, exactly. and then, and then it, it, will pull it, it will pull it up through that. And, in in St. Lucia, they call them keros kerosene lighters. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. when they have storms in uh, St. Lucia, the light goes out. So how were we able to light our house? With the kerosene lighters. I remember them very well. Everything Apostle is saying about it is true. They have the long wick and it sinks into the oil. Yep. And the oil, the wick seeps up the oil. Right. It's the most amazing thing to and watch. Keeps the, and keeps the fire. And keeps the fire yeah. burning. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. Because the, the oil is constantly, seeping, constantly yeah. seeping up there, man. Yeah. All the, 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 the blessing of Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah. You know? Right. Yep. So what's the oil? The oil is the deep understanding of these scriptures, right? Now, King David said, he, he maketh uh, 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 Psalm 23. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me get it. 
because we're like coming in the spirit of King David, because our oil, our cup is running over. Well, Yahweh should have told the disciples, let your loins be burning, your, your, uh, your mind be good and your yep. loins burning. Yep. You know? Yeah, because it can't burn unless you have the oil. Right. And now, then he said, don't you don't take the lamp and put it under, you know, under, yeah, under, under a bushel. bushel. Yeah, you put it <laughs> so all can see. That and is, yeah, I've been sorry. doing videos. I, I did a video at 5 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. He done it and went up live. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And then you'd be surprised to see them. Oh, don't know got jobs. Yeah. Up that early, 5, 6 in the morning. Yeah. You, you know. Putting comments. Yeah, yeah. Putting yeah. comments. You know, yeah. We read the scripture because the spirit jump on. You yeah, see yeah. something on the news, yep. the spirit's on. You see a video yep. of another example. Yep. Uh, I was watching a video of the IUIC. Yep. The brother from down from down uh, Atlanta. I guess he's up in D.C. going back and forth with the Edomite. Right. And um, the Edomite spoke about Peter uh, being a rock, and the guy said, "No, no, no. He's not the rock. The Lord is the rock." So when I saw that, I pulled it back. I said, no, I got to do a video on that. Right. And then I said, uh, I don't know, I forget how it, the, the title, but I asked the question, who was the rock that the church was built on? Right. Was it the Lord or was it Peter? Because right. this guy said it's not Peter, it's the Lord. So certain brothers put you know, videos and comments and stuff. When a guy goes off, you're supposed to jump on his ass, man. Yeah. And they go off, go off on a lot of things. A lot of things. This guy, uh, the big guy, I forget his name. He, Abiel. He's Abiel, Abiel, Abiel. Abiel. He did a video a couple of weeks ago saying that tights is not, we're not supposed to, no, no, tights is not money. It's not like silver or gold. So what? I went into the scriptures, pulled a couple of scriptures together, where it showed you that tights is uh, gold, uh, uh, gold and silver. Right. As a matter of fact, somebody get me, we're changing gears, Somebody get me Deuteronomy 14, and you got to find the verse. It tells you you got to. It's probably around about the 20th verse around there. It says, it says you take your cattle and your and your grapes and everything, and you convert it into money. So when you got to pay uh, tax or whatever, you give it to them in silver, so they can go out there and buy wine and liquor. You know. I know it's in Deuteronomy 14. Um, this is Deuteronomy 14 and 23. And thou shalt eat bread before the Lord thy power in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. The tight of thy corn, of thy wine. You said a, the what? The, what did thy corn? The tight. Which means tenth. The tenth of thy corn. Go ahead. Of thy wine and of thine oil and the firstlings of thy herds and of thy flocks that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy power always. And if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it. Or so what, what, what did they do every three times in the year? They had to go to Jerusalem, right? Yeah. Yeah. So do you think if a guy has a thousand cattle, he's gonna bring a hundred cattle and he's gonna bring bushels of grapes and wheat and all that? No. You're gonna you're gonna convert it into money. Right. And then when you when you come come into the land into Jerusalem, that's when you put present it the tithes, offering, and so forth. Yeah. So that the priest could get it and then buy what they... Right. True, you, you give them a tenth of those things, the shoulder and all that, but you also gave them money. Right. So that guy went totally off. So I I said, let me make a video on that. All right? Yeah, the scripture where it says money is defense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Or if the place be too far from thee, which the Lord thy power shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord thy power shall have blessed thee, then shalt thou turn it into money. Then shalt thou turn it into money. So that word there should be, uh, uh, what is it, uh, yep. which is silver. Those silver, yep. shekels. Go it's, ahead. It says, and bind up the money in thine hand, and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy power shall choose. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever thy soul. What does it mean to bestow? To bestow it upon somebody else, the priest. This is the this is ten percent. I convert everything into silver and gold. This is for you, right? Right. This is what Abraham did to Melchizedek, uh, receiving that tenth of all that Abraham had. It said Genesis thirteen that Abraham was rich in cattle and in silver and in gold. Yep. And he gave him what all ten percent of all that he had. Oh yeah. 
So when the guy says, oh, you can't give money at night, if the guy's clearly going on. Yeah, that group, they stay, well, they the, stay going on. Look at that title. It, it, I mean, it only goes downhill from there. Israel United in Christ? Come on, man. Look, you know something by its label. It starts with the label, right? If you look at the label, and the label ain't kosher, guess what? The contents ain't kosher. <laughs> right? Does that make sense? If you're saying you're an Israelite and you're calling on Jesus Christ, yeah. you don't want to be around those people. That's exactly. True. Just because, uh, and that's that scripture in Ezekiel where it says they they uh, built the, the building with untempered mortar, they daubed it, and then the Lord said, I will send a stormy wind against it. So that, that tell, I'm telling you, man, we're telling you, a stormy wind is coming for that group. And them, them, them dudes are proud, man. They're proud as hell. A stormy wind is coming for that group. Yeah, we don't know the inner workings of what's going on in the IUIC. We don't, we don't know what's really going on behind closed doors. They'll put up a front, you know? Yeah. Now, I'll say this. I believe they're sincere men in that yeah. thing. Yeah. But you yeah. know what the most I'm going to do? He's going to break that whole thing up. Stormy and the wind. ones that are sincere, Lord willing, they're sincere, they're going to come out. And they'll probably get with us. No? Yeah, because what Elder Pastor was talking about, RBL, the statement he made, that's an example of untempered mortar, brothers. Untempered mortar, when you build a building, you need real mortar. It has to have the right consistency for the brick to stick to the next brick. Right. If you understand the dynamics of building. I remember I was working for this Italian guy, and he said, man, my job was to mix the mortar for him. He was laying down floors, right? He was laying down the marble floors. And my job was to keep, keep him filled with mortar. That was my job. And he said, man, the way you mix the... He kept praising me. This dude kept praising me. Yeah, it's the right consistency. That's what I like. He's all happy and shit. So that's the example. The right consistency means you got to break down the scriptures the right way. Yeah. That's the mortar. You can't go off not a jot or a tip. Yep. Yeah. Jot goes to the Hebrew letter Yah, which is the smallest character, the first character, uh, not the first character, I'm sorry, yeah. the tenth, smallest, yeah. the tenth is the smallest, so the Lord said you cannot take away one jot or one yah tittle. or one tittle until the, all things be fulfilled, right. yeah. so it's the same thing with the scriptures, yeah. you go off on one point, you're off, you're told, you, look, you might as well jump off a mountain, again. Huh. Yeah. and for these guys, these other camps, to not really speak about the mark of the beast, they're clearly going on. You know we always bring that up, yep. you know? Hey, there's, the, there's, there's more to that, I believe. Yeah, because the scriptures say you can, a fountain can bring forth sweet water and, and um, and what is this? Uh, and bitter. And bitter. Sweet and bitter, and bitter. Sweet and bitter. And bitter water. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's got to bring either either or. Either it's good the or right it's bad. right consistency. Yeah. It goes back to that bricklayer. You want to get a bricklayer pissed off? Give him water that's not the right consistency. Right. Yep. Either it's too hard or it's too liquidy. Right. No, it's got to be the right. So Place that way, it. when he lays the bricks, he don't have to work that hard. The mortar seeps in, all the bricks are joined together because it's right. the right consistency. That's these scriptures, man. And these guys don't have the right consistency. Point blank period. That's it. Where we at? Um, there's more. There's more to that up here. Okay. There's a little if more. I'm not here. mistaken. Yep. It says, uh, I'll read that verse again. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever thy soul desireth. So that's what the Levites did. A lot of times they got money, and they wanted to buy cattle, they, they had the money to do it. And thou shalt eat there, eat there before the Lord thy power, and thou shalt rejoice, thou and thine household. And the Levite that is within thy gates, thou shalt not forsake him, for he hath no part nor inheritance with thee. At the end of three years, thou shalt bring forth all the tithes of thine increase the same year. How is the tithes coming in the form of money, right? Oh, yeah. Read the, the verses above that, the tithes. Come. And shall lay it up within thy gates. And the Levite, because he hath no part nor inheritance with thee, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, which are within thy gates, shall come and shall eat and be satisfied that the Lord thy power may bless thee in all the work of thine hand which thou doest. I got a precept, um, uh, alluding to what we're talking about. 2 Timothy 2 and 15, it says, Study to show thyself approved mm -hmm. unto the Heavenly Father, a workman 
that needeth not to be ashamed. Now remember, brothers, we're building what? The tabernacle of David. Are we not building that tabernacle of David? Now there's a scripture where it says we're all stones, lively stones. So you need, you can't just build a building without mortar. You need mortar to get that stone to stick to the next stone. So what's the mortar? The understanding of these scriptures. And the mortar has to be consistent. So guess what? These scriptures, the breaking down of them has to be consistent. You can't be off to the left or the right. You have to be dead, dead on point, man. Yeah, you got a lot of guys that say, why don't you guys all come together? Well, we can't come all together because we don't agree together. If you're teaching that Edomites can make it, we can't work with you. If you're teaching the mark of the beast to sleep with a white woman, we damn sure can't get with you. If you're teaching that John the Baptist fell out the truth, we can't get with you. If you call it on the name Jesus, we cannot get with you. Oh, and, and you know what's even heavy? I just thought about it. The Lord said the glory of, of, of this house will eclipse the former glory of the former house. That's the house of David. Yeah. yeah. And what's the house of David? Don't tell me it's a whole all of Israel. No, <laughs> the house of David were the people that were with David in, the, in their past lives. Right. Yeah. Of all the tribes. And we would have to be of the house of David. Yeah. Okay. And it says we're going to be better than the former house. So now in this building, we really got to be on point. That, that right there shows us we really got to be on point, which the Holy Spirit going to make us on point anyway, because it ain't up to us. Yeah. Years ago, I did a video in Acts 15 about James making a statement. He quoted, uh, he quoted Amos, uh, was it Amos 9 and 12, 11? Yeah, so. And I said that he went off and all these guys attacked me, man. Oh, I said that James went off and this and that. But when you read the scripture correctly and start getting fucking emotional, you see it. Matter of fact, let's go to that real quick. Let's go to, because uh, you spoke about the house of David. Yeah. So let's go to that. So get, get an understanding that the house of David is not all Israel. Not all Israel, man. Don't you know you got people that are walking around that are part of the house of Paul? Oh, yeah. Yohanna would be a part of the house of Saul. Saul yeah. And then the scripture back up across out, the scripture, and there was war between Saul's house and David's house. Yeah. Guess what? The, the war is still continuing to this very day. That's why we ain't going to get along. That's why it ain't going to be no fucking unity camps. Because you got certain members of the house of Saul. How the hell are we going get, to get getting unified with them yeah, we when they got get, a different we can't spirit? Get with the house of Saul. Come on, man. These guys don't know the scriptures, man. And you know how you know Yohanna's the house of Saul? Because he, he he left David, King David, which is Marsha. We even know who Saul is. <laughs> he well, gotta be we, Saul, we man. Think we know. Yeah, he gotta be Saul, man. He we fits. Think we know. He has all the he has all the trimming the characteristics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say, um, say say a little louder. Say King Marsha is um, Zerubbabel. I mean, um, yeah, David. Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, what? King, King David, right? And King, yeah. So. Um, I preach Ariyah with Joshua, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. you listen to what well, King Marshall yeah. said that, King Marshall but said that. You said it, but can, yep. did you believe it? Can you see it? Yeah, you see, okay, that's, good. Exact, that's all Zachariah 4 and 2, right? Yep, 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 yep. that's it. And hey, you should have been at the Cornelius Council, because King Marshall said that. He said, y'all talking shit about Ariyah, you better read the third chapter. You better read the third chapter. <laughs> yeah, because you had guys that, when they split the house of David, they had hate, they were talking shit about Ariyah. Yeah. I wasn't talking shit about no, Ariyah. No. I knew who that man was. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And them guys, <laughs> back in the world, both got in fucking mind. And it's heavy because King Marshal had already split with high priest Ariyah. So to show you he still loved the man, because he got mad, he said, y'all talking shit about Ariyah? You better read the third chapter. Now, uh, Apostle Tower was there, I was there, Apostle Ramah, most of the uh, Connecticut brothers, we all had smiles. Oh, pretty enough. much all of them. Yeah, all of them, yeah. Well, there you go. There's a lot of them fell off after. Yeah. We had all all of us had smiles on well, most of us I said that. And it went over pretty much yeah. a lot of people's heads. We had smiles on our face because we knew exactly what he meant. He didn't say Zachariah the third chapter. He said you better read the third chapter. What he meant to say was Zach, the Lord didn't want him to say it. Right. Because there were certain guys in the room the Lord didn't want him to it get that understanding. It wasn't meant for them. It wasn't meant for them. It wasn't meant for them. We all looked at each other like... Yep, because we knew exactly what he meant. He meant Zechariah the third chapter. Now, what is Zechariah the third chapter? 
That's where Joshua has the, the filthy garments. So that was comfy. Yeah, yeah that was good. That was comfy. He was the, the, and then the angel protested, if you leave my courts, then I'll change your, you know. Then it, it says that he received a fair metri, like Elder Pastor always says. If you know High Priest Ariel, he loved wearing the metris. Oh, yeah, yeah. He but loved he wearing the best. He, he wore it to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking, but when he went out, and when he went out, like, you know, you dress in the civilian, he dressed like an Israelite. He had the turban on. You know, he bought it a job with the turban on, you know? And the spirit was really with him. The spirit ain't with him now, but the spirit, as the you know, prophecy says, the spirit's gonna come back on. Oh, yeah. So we just gotta wait. Unless the most high take him yeah. and then raise him back raise up. Him back up yeah. You know? Then we, which remain, shall, you know? Yeah. Be risen up. I was going to say something damn. Oh, let's go ahead and read it. Let's go ahead yep. and read it. Right. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. No, yeah. no, no, no. Go to, uh, go to Acts. I'm sorry. Acts? Yeah, Acts uh, 15. Okay. This kind of answers your question from last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the, 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 sight, the, uh, the men of the Lord said things that, the, that went a little off, you know? But you know through the Spirit. Right, Acts 15, uh, started at 13. And after they had held their peace, James and... By the way, scholars call this the Jerusalem Council. Because when you read the first couple of verses, first three or four verses, it speaks about... Uh, I believe there were scribes and Pharisees that believed in Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. that went to the Passover and they said, well, those people can't come because they're not circumcised. So Paul had to call uh, a council with the heads. You know, Peter, James, Peter and James, or Peter, James and John. And they said, he, they don't have to be uh, circumcised at this time right now. Also, uh, Colossians uh, 2 and 16, about let no man judge you according to the high holy days. Because these were Israelite Gentiles that 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 was uh, coming back in. So you don't want to just dump the law on them. Look, you got to do this. You know, you got to do that. You got to dress a certain way. You got to get... You no, know, they had to learn of the Hawashai first. Yeah. And then eat, just like us. Just like us, man. When yep. you come in new into in this thing, I don't expect you to just grow a beard right when you come in. You got you to start learning. Then you say, I'm going to grow a beard. Well, I'm going to not do this. I'm going to not do that. I'm going to dedicate myself more. So when you dedicate yourself more, you're more into the Lord. Go ahead, Art. Acts chapter 15, verse 13. And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simeon hath declared how the Mosiah the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Now, but that right there where it says Gentiles, Ariel used to break it down that he, uh, you know, that was Cornelius and other Gentiles that came into this thing, but they're really not going to go in the kingdom. No, those Gentiles were Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites. You got to go back to the Maccabees. How uh, the uh, Antiochus of Epiphanes put out an order, a decree, don't circumcise your sons, eat pork, dress in the Greek as fashion, wear a hat, go to the place and exercise. In other words, become Hellenized. Right. Uh, Timothy's father was what? A Greek. Yeah. Does it mean he was a white man? No. Oh, that means he was a Hellenized Israelite that didn't believe in being an Israelite. Right. His wife, however, which followed the Lord, what was her name? Lois? Lois. Lois. Yeah. Lois. Lois and Eunice. Eunice, Eunice, the grandmother and the daughter. And uh, the, the husband, he just wanted to be a Greek. He wanted to be like a black Edomite, right, you know? Right. <laughs> Go ahead. And to, and to disagree the words of the prophets. Okay. And to this Read again. Read again from the... Sorry. It says, And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Do you have to read a couple of verses about that? Let's see. More me? Uh, it might not be. I, I, that's where James starts speaking. Uh, yeah, you, you got to go, go up. Yeah, go up a couple of more verses. Okay. We don't want to read the whole chapter. All right, I'll start at eight. And the Most High, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Spirit, even as He did unto us. That's Peter speaking. And remember this: you got to go into Acts ten, Acts yep. eleven, 
you know, 12, you got to go through those, those chapters. Yeah. Because they, were, they had a hard time in accepting those Israelite foreigners. Yeah. Yeah. They said, wait a minute, you let me, because they had tattoos on them, they wasn't circumcised, they could have had bald heads, no they could have muti mutilated their body. Yeah. To a certain, you know, they, 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 they dressed, they no. were eating unclean Food. uh, foods and so forth. No beards. Yeah. No beards. So they looked at them like, actually, you, you were heathen. Yeah. Which they were Israelites. And, and some of those, some of those uh, Israelite foreigners, they had more faith than the Jews. Like the centurion that told you, I said, look, you're not worthy to come under my roof. Just say the word and my daughter will be healed. And Yahweh Shai said, man, I ain't, I ain't seen so much uh, so faithful like that in all the in, 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 in Israel. And you got people saying that's an Edomite. Well, yeah. one, back on what? The Seventh used to say that's an Edomite. He said, they said some of them Edomites had faith. No, they didn't. They didn't have no faith in that. <laughs> yeah. Those were Jakes. So <laughs> guess what? We know more than our, we became wise, wiser, than wiser than our teachers. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Yep. Bringing in the the Jews that were born as Jews that accepted Yahweh with the heathens, which were Israelites, accepting Yahweh That's also in, uh, uh, what is that, Ephesians 2 and 11. The commonwealth, they're part of the commonwealth. Yeah, even, to, even today our house is still being purified by faith. Because really at the end of the day, it's all about faith. None of us really have documents that prove, even though we know we're Israelites, None of us have documents that say who our fathers, 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 to know what line we came out of. We don't need that shit. We know by faith that we are Israelites. We through, read the scriptures. Through the Spirit. Yeah, through the Spirit. Not by flesh and blood, but through right. the Spirit. We read the scriptures, we read the curses. Yeah. We see the curses fit us. We, we, we know that we're Israelites. It even says in Deuteronomy 28, the curses shall be assigned unto you who you are. Does it not say that? Yes, it does. Right, so that's who we are. We're the Israelites. We're under those curses. Go ahead, Ark. Uh, Acts 15 and 10. Now therefore, why tempt you the most high to put a yoke of iron upon the necks, I mean upon the disciple, upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? Now is that talking about an actual uh, yoke of iron? No, it was talking about a, a burden that they put on. Go ahead. Yeah, learning it's this truth, becoming a, becoming a man of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. That's why that guy wanted to kill himself. <laughs> because that burden, he couldn't deal with the burden. And trying to become a righteous man in this wicked world is a burden. It's supposed to be a burden. This is a wicked world. And you're trying to be righteous. It's not going to be a burden. Judas Iscariot, when his guts came out, his guts didn't actually come out. Right. You know? Like, like they, they, they'll say if they, if they are interrogating you, you go, you're gonna, you're gonna spill your guts out. Right. I mean, yeah. you want, you want that guilt is gonna make you confess. Yeah. You know. And, and you know what, brothers? As we get closer and closer to the end, guess what? The heat of that burden turns up because you're gonna have government officials coming to your home. Are you with that Israelite stuff? You, know, some, some guys are gonna be like a deer in the headlights. You know. You be, how are we going to be? God damn right, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Because they now made what? us, they demonized us. Being an Israelite, who we are, and we can prove in the scriptures, they, they, how are they going to demonize you for who the fuck you are, man? <laughs> you said that, that in the video. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, come did on, a video. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Apostle Todd did a video when he said I was cracking up. It's mm. true. We, what, I'm not supposed to be a Hebrew Israelite? I, we were made Hebrew Israelites. That's what we're going to be. This ain't, like you said earlier, Pastor, this ain't no fad. This ain't no fucking fad. This is this is our nationality, man. We're reclaiming our nationality. We're not niggas just saying that we're Israelites. We, just, we didn't just woke up one day, oh, we're going to be the Israelites now. I, I'm tired <laughs> of like being, being an Israelite, Israelite today. I feel like being an Israelite today. <laughs> we keep, like I said, we keep all the high holy days and laws. We got beards, the dietary law and all that, man. Yeah, we got the border blue. We got the fringes. Mm -hmm. We got our beards in our face, like Elder Pastor said, this ain't no strap on beard, you know? And I would never think about dealing with one of your brother's women, which is adultery. But then you got certain other schools out there that they commit adultery, man. And then the leaders act like they don't know what's going on. Yeah. And Kofi, he had a thing, an award show, that the Archangel Awards, oh, yeah. and he gave out awards for marriages. This is a successful marriage. 
And one of the awards he gave to a couple, he wound up popping the guy's wife. Yes. He gave the nigga the, the, the award and wound up popping the dude's wife. But then, so the guy didn't get mad. He said, I'm going to raise you up in rank. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, man. If you had did that shit to me, you. <laughs> you would have been in the spirit world a long time ago. <laughs> oh, there was a situation that happened. Um, uh, uh, what, it was in New York City. I forget the exact location. It was all, I heard in the news all day that there was this one guy that was dealing with this chick, and, they, and um, she didn't want to deal with him, and she got with another guy. And this guy came to the house and killed the dude. This guy just got with that chick. Yeah. Yep. Okay. The rage of a man. Yeah. You know, Proverbs 6. He still had feelings for his wife, but what he should have did, the, the biblical thing, the biblical <laughs> thing is to kill both of them. Right. But he got all the emotion, he was all in love with the woman. <clears throat> Boom. I'm killing this nigga. Though. You know? Go ahead. Acts 15, verse 11. But we believe that through the grace of the Lord, Yahweh we shall be saved even as they. Then all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders the Most High had wrought among the Gentiles by them. Yeah, when Paul started, now mind you, the scriptures say when Paul started his ministry, he didn't go to Jerusalem. You know, the spirit came on him so heavy, you know, he started his ministry right there and then, man started going and teaching then of course later men started joining unto him Barnabas uh, Titus uh, Ephaphroditus men like that now I'm wondering if it's because it says after three years he went I think he said he went to Jerusalem so I'm yeah, wondering yeah, was, is yeah, it that yeah, around yeah. that time yep. that he's talking about there because it was three years later that he went to Jerusalem he had to go for that matter of circumcision you got it. All right, verse 13. See, like we always say, we got to know that history, brothers. We got to know that history. And, af and after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simeon hath declared how the Mosai at the first did visit the Gentiles. So who's Simeon? Who's Simeon? Raise your hand. Who's Simeon? Who's Simeon? Waiting to go. <laughs> Where's your hand at, brother? I see these two hands up. Who's Simeon? Peter. Peter, yeah. Because that name, uh, Peter, was given to him by the Lord. That wasn't his name that he was born with. His, his name was Simon Bar Joseph. Bar meaning bun. Bar is uh, Aramaic, which, which is similar to the Hebrew, which goes back to the word bun, or son of Bar Jonah, the son of Jonah. All right? Okay, Simeon hath declared how the Mosai the first did visit the Gentiles. No, so wait. how did how, wait, 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 I'm wait, sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Um, so we know that that's Peter, right? Yeah. Simon Peter, right? Yeah. And it said, read it again, Mark. All right, Simeon hath declared how the Mosai the first did visit the Gentiles. What does it mean that how the Mosai the first did visit the Gentiles? Yep. Read it, read it, read it, keep reading. Okay. To take out of them a people for his name. To take out of them a people. Read that again. Read that whole. Okay. Acts 15, verse 14. Simeon hath declared how the Mosiah at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. What's that talking about in the nutshell? What's that talking about? I want to say. No, 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 you don't, you don't sound confident. <laughs> oh. I want to say, well, that means you're not sure. Yeah. What's wrong with yeah. you, brother? <laughs> now, go ahead, right, go ahead. He had the, the vision in Acts okay. 10. That the Lord, Speak loud. So he had the vision in Acts 10 that the Lord brought the, the, showed him the sheep with the Israelites that were scattered, that were, you had some that would be of the elect. So the Lord sent him, started with Cornelius and so on and right. so forth. Right, the Church Lord thing. at the first did visit the Gentiles, yeah, which is Israelites. Yeah. Vocab would say, no, those are the body of believers. They're going to be Moabites and Africans. No, they're Israelites. Cornelius was the first one. Yeah. Cornelius was the first one. Yeah. This is for extra points. Yeah. By a show of hands, what does the word Cornelius mean? And before you, before you answer, Blue Letter got it wrong. Blue, the Blue Letter got it wrong. 
<laughs> so if you give me the, oh, I saw, I read it, I saw it in the blue letter the other day. What does Cornelius mean? I'm waiting. What does Cornelius mean? I don't expect you to know it. I'm just, you know, I want to put that pressure on you, you know. Because pressure is good. If it's, if it's not of a horn, that's is that what the blue that's the blue that said. said. It went off. It went off. Because I remember you mentioned it before. I just can't. I can't. I, I, the, the word oil is what's coming to mind, but I, I, I heard it somewhere. Tell him. It means kernel or seed. Kernel. It means yes, seed. Yes, yes, it yes, means yes, seed. Yes. Cornell. Then, and the reason why they went off on it because they saw corn, yeah. corn meaning horn. Corn, right. Cornelius. Corn meaning horn, but it's actually Cornell. When you pop popcorn, what do you do? You put kernels, which are seeds. seeds. So the seed goes back to what? Back to Israel. You know? It's not the Another corn name for Israel is what? Yazariala. Thank you. What does Yaz Yazariala mean? Seed of God. Seed of God. Seed of Israel. Break it down right. Yazarai Allah. Break it down right. Soul, soul seed? No. Allah is God. Right. Uh, Yazarai Allah. Yaz, let's break it down. Thank you. Yah meaning he. Uh, Zarai meaning seed and Allah. He, seed of God. That's what it means. Who's the seed of God? The Israelites. The Israelites. So, so was Cornelius the seed of God? Yeah. Absolutely. So let's, let's keep reading. Okay, 15th verse. And to this agree the words of the prophets, as it is written, after this I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. Now and he was right. Yeah. He was right. Yeah. But that wasn't the fulfillment. That wasn't the fulfillment of what was going to actually happen. He it's, was right. It's the beginning. But, right. but, the beginning. but he really, he wasn't, you know, he was a little off, okay? Because that represents a kingdom. Yeah. The kingdom didn't take place until it was getting ready to take place. But to, to back up Pastor everything starts with the beginning. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That was the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Right. It had to have a beginning. The, yeah, yeah. the, 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 the kingdom of, 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 the kingdom of Israel, which is really the kingdom of Yahushai, which is the kingdom of David, started when Yahushai came on the scene, when he picked Peter, thus the beginning of the kingdom. Yep. Now, now, which is right. He's right on that, but the, but the actual time that that's going to be fulfilled is when we take Esau down. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, that's why he didn't Absolutely. mention Edom. Right. Okay? So he understood it, he explained it, but he didn't fully go into it. All right? So read that again. And you know what's right. heavy? If I may add to a false star, because we're always, we, we say we envision what we read. Uh, um, this, first of all, that was Yahushua's brother, his biological brother, this James here. That's number one. Number two, Peter was there. All these top guys were there. And, they, and he said, men, hearken unto me, listen to me. And he's going into it. So they were listening to him. He wasn't just babbling, they were listening. He said, hearken unto me. And what you got to understand too, the prophets received what? Visions, right? Yep, yep. They wrote the visions down. Did they understand the visions that they were writing down? So did they have the full understanding? No. Nope. Neither did them. Right. They had a lot of understanding, but they don't have the Paul and Peter and all them. They, they, don't, they don't have the knowledge that we have. Oh no. They gotta they gotta come to us. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, see, you see what the heart said that nigga? That yeah, yeah, nigga's yeah. really going off. Talking about he over Peter. <laughs> but I'm saying when they when when John was on the Isle of Patmos and he got them visions, oh, he didn't know what the hell was no, going no, on, man. No, no, yeah. We <laughs> know exactly what's going on. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You gotta appreciate the back of your brother. Matthew 13 and 16. But well, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Right. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear the, the those things. Which you hear and have not heard them. And, and if I may say, so like if I may say, Apostle Paul, he didn't know everything like he did now. Because Apostle Paul is back now. So if we go back, right. back. No, <laughs> <laughs> hell no. 
Hell and we don't no. know. We don't hell know. No, we don't know. We don't know who. Nah, look, I don't know who the hell I am. Not, neither do I care. Right. Not, neither right. do I care. Right. Right. No. Right. Right. We. Right. We. We still got to do the work. That's yeah. it. So. So what? What? You know. We, so what? We're back here to do the work. Okay. Let's do the work. Yeah. When the let's men shut of the Lord, hell up and do the work. When the men of the Lord get on the chariot. Right. That's who you know. That's what you know. Yeah. Boom. 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 Because it's yeah. gonna be revealed. You that know? goes back to humility. Oh. Humility. Hope for the left. Hope for the left. The yeah. Apostle Paul said. We're for, trying to help that we the fucking elect. Yeah. yeah. Forget about Paul and. Trying to kiss this the guy sun. and that guy. Yeah, right. Kiss the sun. Kiss the sun. Makes you be angry. Yep. The, the apostle Paul said, "We prophesy in part, for we know in part. part yeah. But when that which is perfect is come, yeah. then shall we know how, as we are known." Right. Now, 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 now. Uh, in Daniel, it says, "It says what? What does the prophecy say in Daniel 12? Knowledge shall be increased." Yeah. So you know, usually we use that for Esau, this technology, but knowledge of the scriptures too. Knowledge of the prophecies shall be increased. Why? Because we're in the last days, man. When we're supposed to break them down in the kingdom, we're supposed to break down the prophecies expertly in the kingdom. There won't no need for that, man. Right. <laughs> the prophecies will be over. So now is the time we got to break down the prophecies expertly. Now. And now this is perfect. They came right on time because you're talking about Cornelius. Right. Now these. In the, now Cornelius could have looked like one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cornelius could have looked like an Edomite, yep. right. you know, yep. or like an Ephraimite. Now, now going back into the history, the, the, the tribes, they were all black. No, they weren't. Right. There were different shades back back then. Back yeah. then. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. The Lord is a power of variety, man. Yeah. <coughs> Stop. Yeah, you yeah, said my yeah. heritage is unto Say it me. again, Apostle Ryan, because some guys just don't get it. Speckled bird. Yeah, speckled bird. No, oh, no, everybody looks like Shaft. No, we no, said no. that years ago. I'm from the tribe of Naphtali, baby, okay? Yeah, yeah, we made jokes about it. The guy roll up, I'm from the tribe of Asher, okay, baby? Yeah, I put my finger like that. Yeah, I worship the same. I know you motherfuckers. <laughs> but uh, no, we were making those jokes back then. You know, uh, this be a black spade dude looking dude. I'm from the tribe of Issachar, baby. <laughs> yeah. you, had, you had a theme music from Shaft, the original Shaft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy go, comes in with a black leather coat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm from the tribe of Issachar. Because that's how ridiculous our people are, man. You know what I'm saying, brother? That's how ridiculous <laughs> our people are. You, yep. Every Israelite ain't going to look like a so-called Negro, man. Brutish. 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 Go ahead. Acts 15, verse 16. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. Mm. And I will build Which is talking about then, but it's also talking about there's, a, there's an Acts... 2.0. <laughs> right, right. This is the book of Acts 2.0. Right, Absolutely. Yeah. Because what does the word Acts mean? It means action. Action. Right, right. action. When you go out on the highway and the byways, yep. you know, works. 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 doing it, doing yeah. acts. You know, hey, making moves. In Spanish it says hechos, yeah. which are the doings. Right? Okay, okay. Or the doings. 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 Go ahead. All right. And I will build again the These ruins. These are the acts of the apostles. These right. are the acts right here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And I will build again the ruins thereof, mm. and I will set it up. Hold up. What does it mean, I will build again the ruins thereof? He's going to raise this back up. So the building is not an actual building. Right. right. No, no, no. It's, it's an actual people. Yeah. And what does it mean by Jerusalem coming down from heaven in Revelation? <laughs> Revelation 21. I want somebody else to try it. You don't got to get it right. Just try it. You know? I was saying it again. Jerusalem coming down from heaven. What is that talking about? That John said. Put him up. You had your hand up. Go deeper. Go right. deeper. You're right, but you got to go deeper. You got to go deeper. Read, matter of fact, read, somebody read it real quick. Um, uh, Amos? No, no. Uh, uh, Revelation oh, 21 and 1. All right. You got it, but you got it. I want more. Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth passed, uh, were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most side out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Stop. See how easy it is? Because you read, you read down, bride, the bride, prepare right. for her, for her group. Right. All right. So, so what does it actually mean? 
them coming down. What is it? What does that mean? Them coming down. Put them up. What did John see? Remember, John saw a vision, right? I guess that's us coming down out of uh, the, the chariots. That's exactly that's, 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 that's 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 what it means. That's it. He no. saw a vision. He saw a ship coming down. Right. Yep. And it could have said Jerusalem or whatever. He said, oh, that's Jerusalem. And it came down. And what, what, do, what do we do? When we get beat up, we go, Psalm 91, we're going to watch the destruction. Right. We're going to see people running like uh, Tom Cruise. Yep. Remember before he got yep. zapped? Yep. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see people get jacked up, right? Gonna get and then after the smoke clears, we're going to come back down. And we're going to go to certain places around the world that hasn't been touched by the, kissed by the missiles. Right. You know? That's, that's my new one. Yeah, kissed, kissed by, by the, the missiles. missiles. We're going to go, we're going to get out the ships, and these Edomites are going to try to set the army up to fight us because we're aliens, right. and we're going to block shit. We're going to be like Magneto. You know? Mm. Turn, you might, you know, turn a gun on the person, right. make them explode, yeah. make their head. Spiritual power. You humans and your... We're going to have to have spiritual power. Change in a moment and a twinkling of an eye at the last trump. And yeah, at back the up, to back up our start, there's a prophecy right. in uh, Ezekiel, uh, I think it's 39, where it says, all the weapons of Esau shall be rounded up and burnt. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to have that power, oh, yeah. that spiritual yeah. power. Yep. Yep. We're going to collect all the guns, the tanks, whatever Esau got, all that shit's going to be burnt. Because we ain't going to have that shit in our kingdom. There won't be no need for it. Yeah, the fulfillment of uh, Isaiah, 2. Isaiah 2 and also the other one, Micah, I think it's Micah, Micah 2, Micah 4, Micah 4. I, I got this precept because Elder Pastor mentioned about um, uh, the ruins. Uh. Raise up the ruins, right? Now check this out. This is um, Matthew 9. I'll start at 35. And Yahushua went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Ooh. That's the ruins, man. This, uh, Yahweh, uh, Israel was ruined, man. Huh. At that period of time, Israel was ruined. I got a got quick precept to back you up. Isaiah 61 and four. And they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolation of many generations. Now yeah. that's talking about the actual build, physical building. Yep. Uh -huh. It says, and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. And also that's slavery. <laughs> Other nations born in slavery. Is that Isaiah 61? Yep. But also, you, the, the land of Israel also shall be beautified. Yep. It's going to be, as a matter of fact, it was known as the Garden of Eden. Eden means earth. The garden was Israel, in particular Palestine. So it's going to be made a garden again. So one can only imagine how beautiful that city and that land is going to look. We can't even begin to, Isaiah 64. That land is going to be so beautiful, man. You know? I'm going to read the third verse real quick. It says, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, I'm sorry, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Uh, and our no. nationality, we were reduced to ashes. Yep. By the time Esau burnt down our temples, uh, 67 AD going into 74 AD, we, the diaspora, that was the ashes of the nation of Israel. And we ain't been the same since. Huh. Now we're coming back Slowly, slowly but surely coming back. Hey, when we uh, <laughs> led, Lord told us to flee into the mountains, fled Africa, all those Europe. We we still knew that we were Israelites, mm -hmm. but we we lost it when Esau brought us over here. Yep. He whipped us, whipped it out of us, man. That's why he, you know separated families, man. Come on. You know. Have a precept possible. And, and, and you know what's heavy? Uh, although Manat Zaka did it, held it from the main camp, uh, and which we he got that from us. Uh, you had certain men that knew, even in the height of slavery, knew they were Israelites. Uh, Gabriel Prasa, uh, not Prasa, <laughs> uh, Gabriel Prasa, um, Denmark uh, VC, uh, who? Denmark VC, Denmark, Denmark VC, uh, this guy, uh, Nat Turner. Nat, Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Yep. The spirit was kind of working with these men a little bit, just a little, a little bit, a little and bit. and, and it, it, they would read the scriptures and say, "Shit, that's us." Yeah, yeah. You know, that's why the so-called white man didn't want us to read the Bible right. in slavery because our history is in there. 
Somebody should ask that, that question. Why, of all books, why didn't they want us to read the Bible? What was so, what was so, <laughs> what was so, is that supposed to be the good book? I guess because right? we were the Hebrews. Yeah. The maybe, Hebrews. maybe just maybe it's because our history is in there. Maybe, just maybe it's because our nationality is in there. Yep, our identity. Our identity is in there and they didn't want us to know. Maybe. That's why they gave the slave Bibles. Stop. Yep, that's right. That's right. I have a precept if I bullshit ass Bible. Yep. This is Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 9. It says, For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. The ruins. Yeah, that's it. It's beautiful. And it says, hey, read that again. Yeah, as, yeah Ezekiel gotta, chapter 36. I got to put that in my Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not too long. <laughs> Hey, this is the work of Yahweh Shimei Shai working right now. That's it, that's it, man. This ain't us, man. This is the Lord feeding us, man. Yeah. Did not Yahweh Shai say, Lord, I'm with you to the ends to of the, the end, earth. Right. I, right. I will feed you. Yep. This is the feeding right here. Yep. This is the feeding. Hey, the Lord is, is, is you know, he's got the the canvas yep. and he's got the paintbrush. He's stroking yep. that painting. Like Bob Ross. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're we're Jesus Israel. Right. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Israel. Come on, come on, come on. You know what? We're talking about the guy, the painting guy. <laughs> the the Afro. Bob, the he was a ghetto. Yeah. You know? But he looked like a cracker. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He got an Afro. Oh, yeah. He always had an Afro. Had that nice, you know. Yep. Yeah. That nice fro. Yeah. So the world is a canvas and then the Lord is using his paintbrush and painting. Setting everything in well, Most as an artist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why you shouldn't, brothers, be chopping up that beard. Man, look, this is art, baby. <laughs> you know, the way you brothers the look, only that's thing, art. Hey, the only thing you're supposed to do is trim it. You yeah, got to trim it, put on yeah, number yeah. two. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah leave your beard alone. Hey, my, after alone. I do this, I'm, I'm all uneven. Yeah. But then I comb it back and yep, pat yep. it down. Yeah. That's it. That's the most high's handiwork, man. That's the you think I'm gonna go to the fucking barber and spend what thirty thirty dollars? Get a pop, oh, yeah. and They gonna wind up trimming your shit anyway. You gonna get mad? Yeah. Hey, have you have you looking like a woman? We ain't trying to look like no. We men. We is men, ain't we? Yeah, <laughs> Be proud of looking like a man, man. This society they want the men to look like women. Yeah. Exactly. Right, we ain't no fucking women. We're men. That's we another like thing men. why these sort don't like us because we got the beards. <laughs> you know. Now if you notice. A lot of Edomite men got beards now, man. Yeah, yeah. Vocab got a, a oh, Bo beard. Man, Vocab was, was smooth-faced Jimmy yeah. back that's, in the day. All that's of a sudden, he said he grew a beard and yeah. he cut it and he kind of trimmed it. He said, fuck it, I'm going to just grow a full yeah. beard. Because guess what? He wants to be us. Yeah. Right? And that's probably this guy, a Bellum. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Bellum. Yeah, 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 that's right. The Midianite. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you got that goat beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we put a, put a bell around You're Like a big, neck. fat goat. Big fat goat head. You heard that book, man? <laughs> he don't like me. He getting on you, man. Shit, he don't like me, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're whipping you, <laughs> But you know what, vocab? You like you like to get spiritual ass whipped. I can see it. Yep. You like to get your ass whipped on the spiritual level. You love it. You know what we All right, Ezekiel 36, verse 9. It says, For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you. It says, For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel. You shall be tilled and sown. With what? The word. Yeah. Break up your fallow ground. Oh, that's yeah. it. That's it. Right? Yep. Yeah, because ground. the word is the seed. Yep. yep. You know, and now you can't you can't just throw seed on the ground no. and expect it to it's grow. It's not gonna catch. Right. The ground gotta be broken up. Right. Yeah. So that, that ground is what we were in the world. So when you come into this truth, this truth is supposed to break you up. Right. Then you can be built up the right way. It's spiritually grooming you, you know? Because the most high is the husbandman. Right. And we're the farm. Yeah. You know, and the Lord plants the seed, and the seed grows and brings forth, forth, brings forth fruit. Good fruit, fruit you can yeah. eat. Not right. bitter sour. Right. And I will multiply men upon you, mm. all the house of Israel. That's yep. going into the house of David. And that's why you can't stop this vocab, no matter what shenanigans you do. Did you not hear what the bro brother just read? It's going to be multiplied, man. This thing already is all over the world. We got brothers in Australia. Yep. We got brothers all over the world, man. And not just GMS, Great Millstone. You got the other, other camps too, even though a lot of them, they go off, right? but they're still all over the world.
this Israelite thing is, is taking root, man. You can't stop it. You're just one, like Elder Pastor said, you're just one guy. With a bunch of retards. The guys around the retards and the problems, they're not dedicated like you are. No, hell, just one guy, man. Yeah. How can one guy go up against one dedicated, dedicated guy go up against thousands of dedicated guys? And what's You're your, losing the battle, man. And what's your motivation? And don't let the Most High give his men spiritual power. Oh my goodness, overnight this thing is gonna blow off the hinges, man. Yep. If the Most High give one man the power of healing, which he will do, oh, that's when the fame comes in. Hey, well, remember when Peter was out, they were out there, what happened? The people walked by, they said, that they, they went just to see if the shadow of Peter right. would touch them to that's get healed. Back. They got They got handkerchiefs from the Apostle Paul to, to heal them. Well, wait a minute. Earlier, did we not say, did, did not Apostle said Acts point two? Well, Acts wait a minute. 2.0. Acts 2.0? 2.0, yeah. Wait a minute. In the book of Acts, you had healings going on. Right. Yeah. Guys were getting healed, right? With yeah. spiritual power, the, the right? Man that, that, the man at the gate called Beautiful. The, the, the gate Beautiful. So yeah. guess what? It's going to happen again, yeah. brothers. So the, the members of the elect, if they're sick, they're going to be healed. No matter what they got. Yet. All right, yeah, yeah. real quick, Ezekiel 36 and 10 and, and verse 11. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, mm -hmm. even all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be builded. And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will settle you after your old estates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where we're <laughs> back in our land. Isaiah 14 and 1, from the Lord have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them where? In their own land. So we're going back to Israel. That's our land. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna move out of that fucking project apartments yeah. that they glorify it and actually get land right. with animals running on it. And, and, ca and castles and slaves. A lot of our people don't believe us. it, man. A lot of our people don't believe it. They right. read it, they say, I don't believe it. And because of their unbelief, they ain't gonna get it. Yeah. Scriptures say that. Because of your unbelief, you ain't gonna get it. Yeah, we ain't supposed to be living like this, man. Right on, on, on top of each other. Well, yeah, that's, that's going uh, to you. Join Isaiah. Uh, yeah, Isaiah. Yeah. Is that Isaiah? Uh, fifth chapter? Five and eight, I think. Is it? Something like that. Uh, and that's another thing you're gonna pay for, Esau. You got the Lord's people yeah. all, all huddled up in a box. Yeah. Charging them exorbitant rent. If the guy next door farts, I gotta hear the shit. Yeah. If he's popping this woman, I ah, woo, ah. I gotta hear. We gotta hear that shit. Yeah. That shit is madness, man. Yeah, yeah. We ain't supposed to be living like that. Going to have a house with a plot of land around. Yeah. <coughs> if you work at a certain time and then the people upstairs work different time than you are, you sleeping and they come in the house making all kind of noise, wake you up. Meanwhile, you go in Esau's neighborhood. Some of them, they got land as far as the fucking eye can see. Yeah. I used to clean pools for a living out there in Greenwich, Connecticut, I know. Some of Esau spread, man. I'll be cleaning the pool, I'll be looking at the backyard. I can't even see the fence. All I'm seeing is rolling mountains and shit, and I'm cleaning their pool. That's how they live it, man. Meanwhile, everybody's huddled up in a fucking building right there. Yeah. But that's righteous though, right? Uh, you got it? Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter five, verse eight. Woe unto them that join house to house that lay field to field, till there be no place, that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. And that's what they've done, because it said that they're gonna set their nest on high. So they crunched everybody together, but they have everything. There was somebody that said, how many people out there have an island that's called after their name? Or you have an island called the Rothschild Island. How many people out there got an island named after themselves? And, and then and another thing Esau does, that, get that golf game, They'll take acres and acres yeah. of land to play it like, like it, they showed you that it falling down. When, uh, what's his name, was cursing out the, um, the, the, the Edomite? Um, Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. He said, now you got all the, you should be petting zoos, it's blah, 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 blah. Right, you right. got all this land to play this stupid game? Then he cocked the gun back, he went, and he blew the, 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 the golf cart. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker oh. went, <laughs> Then he killed the guy and he said, now you're going to die with, with that stupid, stupid hat on your head. <laughs> that was beautiful, man. That pizza man hat. 
with the and that shows you the director has a disdain for the super the super rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's all they do, play golf all day. And they got acres of land just to play that game. Hey, the scripture said that they fared sumptuously every day. These are the ungodly that prosper in the world. They had to pick up this fucking cracker. Uh, I forget exactly where, it's further up state. Good. And the guy, he gets in, he talks, he, you pull, put the seat up, you know, he's not fucking playing. Them. He's on the phone talking to somebody about them doing a $66 million deal. Look at that. They were talking about the taxes, you know, we got to give the percentage of the government, you know, you're going up to all to the fine points of it. This mother, and that was cool with the guy, man. The motherfucker said, he said, yeah, you're a good driver. He said, you're going to get your five, your five points. You're going to get your five points. And I'm figuring that the guy's going to give me a tip. The nigga didn't give me shit, man. The nigga didn't give me shit. You know what? That reminds me of the, uh, remember the cartoon Underdog? Who remembers Underdog? At the beginning of Underdog, right? The cartoon, the old cartoon, yeah, 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 Underdog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the beginning, the, uh, the guy pets, the Edomite pets Underdog. Uh, underdog, you're a good slave. Then he gives him this this to this coin, and Underdog bites it like to see if it's. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. It's the very beginning of the cartoon. Shining shoes. Yeah, yeah, he was shining yeah, really, shoes. Yeah. Underdog represents yeah. Jake. Yeah, represents yeah, us. Yeah. But Underdog yeah, had his secret it, power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, the, but his, his uh, enemy was uh, Overcat. Overcat. That's Esau. That's Esau, yeah, yeah. Right. That's, um, what, what was that? The, the, the villain in. Um, in uh, Lion, Lion King, yeah. Scar. Oh, Scar. Yeah, Scar. That's Esau. That's Esau. Yeah, yeah, Esau. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he was red. Wasn't he red, like reddish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reddish. Yeah. Yeah. Roomsy. Roomsy. Yeah. And check it out. Underdog. We're the underdogs. Yeah. yeah. It shows you right in the beginning of the cartoon. He's pet underdog. You're a very good shoe shot. Whatever he said to us. Then he gives him the, like a, a has a point. Then underdog takes the point and goes, he bites it and to make sure it's real. That's he you know, underdog, even though he's an underdog, he don't trust his, uh, his, yeah. uh, his master. The, the over But he really over turned into a superhero. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Flying through so the air. that was his, uh, you know. Yeah, We're going to yeah, turn into superheroes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isaiah 41, uh, what the Lord say? Yeah. Uh, 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 they that wait upon the Lord shall mount with eagle's wings. Mm. Mount up with wings of eagles. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to be like, like, uh, um, like they'll have a superhero, Jake, like, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Will Smith played him. Oh, Hancock. 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 That, that's what you said? Yeah. Okay, Hancock. And, but he's a superhero. He got power, but he's a drunk alcoholic. Yeah. You know, he's a fucker. You know? Flying all crazy and shit. Hey, but, when, hey, but when you see, when you really look at it, logically, if he's a superhero, he can drink all the liquor he wants and won't get drunk. Just, you know, that's right, that's right. You know, we observe everything. Huh. You know, wait a minute, if he's a superhero, he's got this power. You know, yeah. He's going to get drunk. Yeah, that's so you Esau, you know, he'll let you do something, but he always gotta throw that, you know, that shade on Jake. Yeah, the accuser of thy brother. Ooh. We read that earlier. Stop hey, it. at the end of the movie, it was a nigga mayor, and he kicked him out of, out of L.A., and he had to go to New York. He said, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Because he was tearing, you know, he'd be flying, going through buildings and shit, you know? I, I got a scripture to back up what you just said there. This is the book of Psalms. And he 62. had to get away from the white woman. Yeah, yeah, you know? the kryptonite. The kryptonite. Which is the kryptonite. Yep, Psalm 62, 3 and 4. How long will ye imagine mischief mm. against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a barren wall shall ye be, as a tottering fence. Really, as Esau. It says, they only consult to cast them down from his excellency. Yeah. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly Salah. Mm. And that's exactly what these devils do to us. Yeah. They're always trying to cast us down from our ex. What's our excellency? That we're the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. We're the Lord's chosen people. We're the greatest people on the planet Earth. Yeah, and they know that that we're the best. You know, that's why even in a low state, like Judah, you know, in the low state that Jake is in, look at the amazing things they can still do, entertainment-wise, singing, sports. dancing, sports. The military, man. Yeah. The greatest warriors, heroes out of Jake, man. Yeah. And this is in a low state, so right. just imagine when, when Jake is turned up. And we do it with style. We were saying that earlier in the camp. Yeah. We do it yeah. with style. Yeah. We don't just do it. We do it with style. Yeah, yeah. Because you know how Shai said we're what? The salt of the earth. Yeah. The salt brings the flavor. And these, these Edomites, they, they, they look at it in, in, in amazement. It's like, 
how could you know Jake do these amazing things? Well, Israel, Yasha Allah, he is the prince of the most high, or he's the prince with the most high. You know, that's that that the power, the essence from the most high. You know, with it with his children. Uh this is the middle of Ezekiel 36 and 11. It says Time. Yeah, the, the rain. Yeah, I know. Me too. <clears throat> okay. It says, and I will settle you after your old estates, mm. and will do better unto you than at your beginnings. The glory, the glory of the former house shall be better. Shall be right. This Greater. house is going to yeah. be better than the glory of the former house. Yeah. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Right. But that's the whole, see. This is why we had to go through what we went through to go you know to to have that great fall and now we're being what we're being raised back up getting back to the tree of life because when we the lord brings us into the kingdom it's going to be a, a far greater glory that that israel's going to have in the kingdom of heaven you know because that was just like a little prelude of everything that we've done from from the beginning until now that's like a prelude into the kingdom the taste of the kingdom was uh, king david and then solomon Son. That that was the height of Israel. Solomon was king for yep. 40 years. That's right. And the rest of the time we spent going down the hill, down the drain. The kingdom was suspended. Yep. Yeah, Pastor, yeah. you did a video saying Oh. You did a yeah. video saying exactly that. That's why the disciples asked you how shy will thou at this time restore, restore the, the kingdom. kingdom again to yeah. Israel? Yeah. 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 They, was, they were talking to Solomon. Yeah. 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 Right. Go ahead. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. And that's, I'm sorry. And that's something that another thing that Christians can't answer, like folk can. What does that mean that it's going to be everlasting kingdom? That Solomon's going to be everlasting kingdom when his kingdom was only for 40 years. Right. You know? And Solomon, was, he had a glorious kingdom. How do we know? Uh, the queen of uh, uh, Queen Makeda, when she went to visit uh, uh, Solomon. Right? <coughs> the, the scripture said there was no breath left in him. Mm. She saw how Solomon's servants were decked. She said, the scriptures say there was no breath in it. In other words, she was ready to faint. Um, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation at so far beyond all that they look for and they, they can't imagine that ships ufos chariots right. are going to cover the, stock, the sky and the elect is going to be scattered throughout the planet the main places here in america but throughout the planet as well so they're going to be in all when that happens hmm. yep. go ahead and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit hmm. shall say within themselves this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. And that that uh, uh, part where it says, and a proverb of reproach, that's us, man. You know, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a nigga by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's a proverb of reproach, you know? Uh, one little, two, two little, three little, little Indians, yeah, yeah, yeah. four, four little, five, you know. Yeah. That's in, Esau making fun of our people, man. Yeah. You know, pack them in like Puerto Ricans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A proverb of reproach. That was back in the days. Um, it says, uh, <laughs> uh, the fourth verse, and Esau, you're going to pay for that. We, you're going to be the new nigga in the kingdom. We're going to be making jokes about you. And you better, now we're creative, you're not. So, <laughs> so you know we're going to get creative in the kingdom on your ass. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 4. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of God or the children of the Heavenly Father? And his lot is among the saints. Therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us. And that's the... Yep. And the son of righteousness, who is which is who? Right. Yahweh Shai. 
<coughs> rose not upon us. So Yahweh Shai ain't dealing with them devils, man. There's no way they can get this truth. Because this truth starts with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is not going to reveal himself to no fucking Edomite, man. It ain't going to happen. That's right. It says, we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. <laughs> yea, we have gone through deserts where they lay no where they lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, listen good. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What have pride profited us? Uh, Esau, mm -hmm. the pride of thine heart, and deceived thee. And deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the cliffs of the rock. You can't, and you can't get around when it speaks about Esau, when it describes Esau, it fits the so called white man to a team. Right. His skin color, which is red. His He's pride. Hairy. He's hairy. His pride. Yep. Petra. Yep. All right. His Look buildings. just like building from Rome or Washington, D.C. Yep. The same architecture. The way he builds his buildings. The way he builds his buildings. Yep. Hi. Yep. yep. I'm going to read the sixth verse again. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 6. Therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us we were the lord is not coming for you you can't say that you are of the body of believers like folk said. you know we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness i mean who the hell is that talking about <laughs> come on man we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction isn't that what Esau did? Everything yep. he puts his hand to, does he not do yep. or bring it to destruction? Yep. Uh, we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where they lay no way, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What have pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our with our vaunting brought us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, the, that's, the, that's that laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes hand in hand with James 5. Oh, hell yeah. Woo. Say again? Second chapter of Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why they took the Apocrypha out of the Bible. That's why the word Apocrypha means sent away hidden. To they took power. it out of the Bible. And one of the main reasons why they took the Apocrypha out is uh, Esau and Jacob. Esau and Jacob, mm -hmm. but uh, that that too. But um, if you go to Maccabees, for example, First Maccabees one, it mentions Alexander. It me mentions his father Philip, yes. and where he came out of yep. Macedon. Yep. 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 That's why he's known as Philip of Macedonia. It mentions Antiochus, <laughs> which oh, these yeah. are actual characters that exist in history. In history, yeah. So you can't say, oh, the Bible is just a fairy tale book. It deals with real characters, even in the scriptures. It speaks about uh, Claudius Caesar. You know, it speaks about the different seasons. You right, know? right, yeah. What it mentions Ti Tiberius. It mentions Tiberius Caesar. Come. Claudius, yeah. Claudius, yeah. Who's that? I just said, There you go. There you go. Uh oh, uh oh. Watch out now. You need to, you need to get with uh, uh, IUIC so you can teach it. Because uh, natives lose the snow. Okay, the 12 feathers! <laughs> Years ago, man, when we first got on, we were going into it. Yeah. And, and we were like teasing Nate. We said, look, you don't oh, know. Yeah. You know, the second edge of 11. Yeah. And then he did a, 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 a show. He was teaching something. Then he said, he lifted the camera. He said, the 12 feathers! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was mad because he couldn't break it down. Come on. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, how should I say it? If you hooked into him, you shall be as a as a rivers of living water, right? right? Damn. You can't, you don't even see this guy anymore. You hear his voice. It's like he's withering away. You know why he's withering away? He's literally withering away. What did Yahweh Shai say? If you separate from him, you shall what? Woo. You shall wither. Yep. This guy is li literally withering away because he's separated from Yahweh Shai. First hey, of all, he can... withered away quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That dude was, uh, it was in his early 40s. Yeah. He just died. He got the COVID and he dropped the fuck dead. 
Hey, the scriptures don't lie, man. Uh, six verses. Therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have, have not shined unto us. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where they lay no way, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What if pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our vaunting through us? All, all those things are passed away mm. like a shadow. They heap treasures together for the Ooh. last days. Yeah. And they're going to lose all that. All that's going to be taken from them. Sure. Yeah, like that guy that Elder Pastor picked up. The guy in the back talking about some 60. It's a sixty-six million dollar deal. What is that going to profit him? Huh? He didn't even give a tip. Cheap bastard. Cheap bastard. Bastard. He gave me five stars. Five stars. <laughs> now, what do you think he's going to do when he find out who Apostle Tar is? Woo. When the Lord magnifies him? Huh? Oh, he's going to run. He's going to be like, oh my God, yeah. I was in the back seat of this man, and oh my, that's what he's going to be. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be an OMG moment. Yep. Was it now, a solid fight? Where we want them? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say nothing. That's yeah. it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> bang, zoom. Oh, oh, bang. I always wanted to ask you, um, what would be the first slave that you would want out of all the wicked men of the world? <laughs> I, want them, the I want them. I want them. I want them all. I want them all. I want them all. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, we're gonna get those super rich. Yeah. That's it. Those are the, the Rothschilds yeah. and right. DuPont and Gettys. We're going to get them. Yeah. 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 Because guess what? Ain't no, ain't no Edomite going to be in America. Right. Be. So we're going to get them rich ones first. Oh, yeah. And, and the prophecy said we're going to take up a taunting <laughs> proverb against them. Mm. I have the Golden City seats. Yep. Everything. Hey, Rothschild, what happened to your New World Order? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. Hey, this country's a joke. Yeah. You see this guy? <laughs> you see this guy? Oh. They, they, they uh, had, had this guy. We went out to the, the hurricane or whatever, and he, uh, the, the president. Pre okay, Biden. He had a little. He had a little twelve-year-old girl. He was filling up on her. Oh yeah. yeah. Then, then he was filling up on a little yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 You know. Hey, dude, and you freak. can see it. I said, "What's wrong with this motherfucker, man?" Yeah, he's a freak. He's a freak. He's a freak. Spot. He's a freak. Spot. <laughs> he's a freak. There was uh, some information that came out from Project Veritas, and they were saying that uh, in his daughter's uh, diary that, that they had, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, inappropriate showers together. Oh. And he was showering with his daughter. Oh, no, well, let's go. He raped his daughter. He raped his daughter. Wow. He raped his daughter, man. You're talking about the guy from Park, right? No, no, we're talking about Biden. Oh, Biden. Oh, Biden. Sleepy oh, Joe, Sleepy oh, Joe, oh, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, he raped his daughter. Sleepy Joe, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're a freak, Biden. You're a freak. You're a freak. <laughs> He's That's a Vulcan. He's a Vulcan. He's, he's in his white Oh! <laughs> hey, yo, see, Jake's talking about Ronald Reagan's wife, Nancy Reagan. You know how she became famous? Out in Hollywood, she was like the top. She was like the superhead. Oh, no. She was the superhead. Nancy Reagan? Nancy, see? see oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a good. Yes, oh, that's, about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Why are you thinking, crazy. you know, oh, Nancy Reagan? You know, she's, like, she's like Miss B. She, she you know, um, uh, not Miss B, Aunt B. Aunt she Aunt makes Aunt cookies Aunt. and apple yeah, pies. Yeah, yeah. No, them eating my woman are freaks, man. Oh, yeah. She was doing a nasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was the superhead of her time, brother. Damn, damn, damn. You know? She sucked a golf ball through a garden. <laughs> <laughs> but he saw us a great... Fucking actor, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll oh, yeah. come up there like Red Ryan. Ryan. righteous. Uh, yeah, yeah. But they're yeah, fucking yeah. freaks. That's Red Ronnie. That's Red, Red Ronnie. Red Ronnie. Yeah. 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 With our uh, vaunt and brought us. All those things are passed away like a shadow, and as a post that 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 hasteth by, and as a ship that passeth over the waves of the water, which when it when it is gone by the trace thereof, by the trace when it's gone by I'm sorry, let me read it again. As and as a ship that passeth over the waves of the water, which when it is gone by the trace thereof cannot be found, mm. neither the pathway of the keel in the waves. 
The thing the keel is that little part of the ship yeah. that yeah. guides yep. it. Yep. 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 Back. Yep. 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 Um, or as when a bird has flown through the air, there is no token of her way to be found. That right. kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, those five cities. Those cities were, they were extolled. And when Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh destroyed them, to this day, they don't even know where Sodom and Gomorrah, the city was located, to this very day. But they these had were the salt, yeah. pillars of salt, supposedly. Yep. Lots, lots, lots right, right. right. Yeah. You got your hand up? Yeah. yeah. So, to back that up, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 11, and it says, But the uh, cormorant and the bittern shall possess it, the owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion. You know what's happening? We read that scripture earlier. Go ahead, read again. Read yeah. again. Isaiah 34 and 11. But the cormorant yeah. And the bittern shall possess it, the owl also, and the raven shall dwell in it. You can break it down, bro. God, and that's going into the destruction of America after it's done, as it says, the Arabians shall not pitch the tent there anymore. So only the wild desert creatures are going to go here. But linking up what you said about, like when the ship goes, you can't tell the path. It says here, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. So you're not going to be able to tell. What was where Washington DC New yeah. York none of that hey because it says there I believe it says it says um, when you read the next verse I believe the the, the uh, nobles will be called yep. right yeah yeah, yeah. because you know where did the nobles go to they went to these different governmental buildings the White House but all that's going to be there is desert animals wild creatures uh, um, devils you know there so this place is finished and it's gonna burn for a long, long, yeah, long yeah. time. The World Trade Center, we, we saw, we were down here speaking, and we passed it by two weeks later, and there was still smoke yep. billowing from, you know, the tower. And you can smell, you can smell, you know, you can smell all that nastiness down there. That's how we know, that's it on that. Oh, that's it on that. On that, that's what we're gonna go. Um, I, I, I have um, James 5. Uh, James chapter 5 verse 1 Go to now ye rich men Weep and howl For your miseries that shall come upon you yeah, that we rich, know the, rich, the rich men are talking about Esau Yep. Not no other nation Even though they're going down to Talking about exclusively The super rich of Esau oh, yeah. Rothschilds, Rockefellers yeah, all, those, bar, all those The guys that you yeah. don't hear every And they watch our videos <laughs> better believe they watch our videos they tremble when they watch our videos they might crack jokes but they, they tremble the inside they're like falling apart you know yeah because they're really responsible for all the misery that goes on around the world absolutely you know so they can fix it overnight they like can a, fix everything overnight oh yeah but you what know. they want to do is bring in a global reset oh yeah when it, oh you heard about uh i read a little a little uh, article I don't remember all the details, but this uh, company that deals with uh, digital checks and making the checks, that it was hacked, mm. which we know what happened oh, yeah. behind the scenes. Right. And there's a lot of companies out there that people work and they're not getting their money. So they're saying, you know, our mm. system went down because it was hacked. Give us time. Well, how long before you get your money? Right. They're going to keep doing that until people no longer want that money. And then they're going to issue everything digitally. Digi yep. It's going to be through your phone. And yep. then eventually it's going to go in because you, you lose your phone. Right. Yep. People can steal your phone. Right. They can't steal your hand unless they cut it off. But they ain't going to walk in the store with somebody's hand. Right, right. So ultimately, you're going to get that chip. And like I said before, earlier, when we set up earlier, the fact that these other camps can't see it, either they're fucking stupid, which I don't think is stupid, or they sold out, or the most had just blinded them. Yeah. Now, as many times that we said it, man, you should get it right now. There goes, there goes the, the, the head. You should get it right now, man. And they, they exist because the prophecy got to be fulfilled. The, the ten virgins, five were wise. Five were foolish. Well, that's the answer. That's yeah. the answer. Five were foolish. They're so not got, meant to get it. Right. Yeah. So you got to have your foolish virgins out there. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? They're it. And for Johanna, as soon as they came out with the vaccine, in all the years that Yohanna been calling a white man a devil, all of a sudden, no. Take, we know he's a yeah. devil, but take it, take it anyway. 
what happened behind the scenes. He had to have got it back. Yeah. And then going back to the parable, the Howard Shine taught, all the virgins tried to trim their lamps. But the lamp, the lamps of the foolish virgin was going out. Why? Because they had no oil. These guys, they're trying to turn up their doctrine, which is bullshit, <coughs> right. but there's no oil. <laughs> so their lamps are going out. They can't sustain it. Yahushua's lamp never went out. Yahushua had that three-year ministry. At what part of that three-year ministry did his lamp go out? Which part? He made a statement, I have meat that you know not of. Yep. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish, finish his work. Yep. Talking about lamp going out, Yahushua said, look, I have, I have, uh, but you cannot bed right now. Roughly paraphrasing. Right, I have many things to say I unto you. I have many me. things to say unto you, but right. you cannot bed right now. Yeah. Is, does that sound like a guy whose lamp is going out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Woo! You got it, bro. Paul, the apostle Paul said he finished his course. His right. course, yep. yep. There's a, a crown waiting for him. Yeah. Hey, if you have a shower on the planet right now, he'd be in GMS. He'd be leading GMS. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Absolutely. Right. Guaranteed. Now, get right. mad. You ought to be talking get about mad. him. They'll be talking <laughs> shit about him, too. Oh, yeah. They'll be, they'll be he would go down to IUIC and he, just like he did in the temple when he whipped niggas at the temple. <laughs> He'd go down to IUIC and you just see foot, foots flying, man. That's the kind of dude the Howard Shai was. Is. It says, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Uh, this is why the parable said that uh, he spoke to Abraham and said, Tell. Lazarus to dip his, his uh, was his pinky or his thumb, finger, in the, finger in the water so he could cool cool his tongue. Could, in other words, a cool that hell that's gonna come upon him. Oh, yeah. Hey, because you gotta remember that all this shit is is, is uh, being accumulated yeah. on Esau, the on tally, especially his international tally, the tally yeah. of their wickedness. Yeah. So every action that's heavy in the kingdom, every action they're gonna get. Yep. is equivalent to their wickedness. Yep. Okay, on such and such a day you did this, yep. now this is going to be your punishment. That's it. <laughs> so, <laughs> then, uh, you, the last thing you want to be is an Edomite. <laughs> that's a video right yeah, there. Yeah, the yeah, last yeah. thing you want to be is an Edomite. Yeah, there you go, brother. <laughs> hey, that's why some, some Jakes get, they get jacked up, man. People get jacked up. Because the Heavenly Father, look, first of all, the scriptures say a thousand years to him is as right. one day. Right? It's as yesterday. It says that in Psalms. Right. So if you go back a thousand years in your lifetime, you know, that's nothing to the Heavenly Father. Right. You could be like, okay, there you go. There you are, 1600 and so and so, 1602. You see what you did there? You murdered this guy. Yeah, yeah. So now, bring you back and now you got to pay for that judgment. Yeah. Man, the, 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 the Heavenly Father, the way he does his judgment yeah. is heavy as hell, man. Because lifetimes don't mean nothing to him. The scriptures say our life is but a vapor. Right? To us, it's, it, 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 we have for a little bit and then we're gone. But it, it don't stop there. We got to right. keep playing, man. We got to, you know? Yeah, I was saying earlier before you got here about the uh, Columbus, and he had to use that trick to deceive them yeah. with the eclipse. <laughs> they wanted to really kill him. If they were going to let them beat him, Christopher and his crew, they were going to let him starve or just kill him off. They didn't, they wasn't always nice. They were like, you know, they were like, let's kill these motherfuckers, man. A lot of them wanted to kill him, but guess what? The Most High was with him. Right. The Most High was always with Esau. Yep. You know? Yeah. To help him fulfill, uh, fulfill prophecy. He yeah. had to fulfill prophecy. Yeah. yeah. But then the Heavenly Father was with him, but the Heavenly Father is going to turn around and still judge him. Right. That's the power. Of the, this is why Yahushua told us to fear. I'll tell you one who, who we should fear, meaning the Heavenly Father. Right. The Heavenly Father can put a reprobate spirit on you and turn around and still judge you. Mm. And Come the, on, man. And the reason why is the, why is Esau so interested in us to send vocab and check out our videos? Why is that? Not just because we read the Bible, because of the slavery part. Yeah. He's a part of that plan. Right. Yeah. He don't want to hear that. Because <laughs> in the back of your mind, ah, that's bullshit. They're, they're, they're nothing. In the back of their mind, they're saying, what if we do go into slavery? Right. Yeah. That's in the back of their goddamn mind. Well, that's the main thing they, they attack. Yeah. You know, out of the out of the whole doctrine. They call the us thing. a hate group because yeah. we say they're going to slavery. Yeah. No, we say that you're going into slavery because the Bible says that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the truth. The judgment, right. It is the judgment of Yahweh Hashem El Payback Pay back is a bitch. That's he it. that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. They let us into captivity. There's no problem there, right? So why is it a problem for them to go into captivity right. when they're not even the Lord's special people? 
They're not his chosen people. We are. Us Israelites, we're the chosen people, man. And we went into captivity. So they, that's not the Lord's chosen people, they're not going to go into captivity? That's not righteousness. That's not justice. Right. And our power is a just power, as it is written. Man. And, and they're not the people of the Lord. They're the people watch of... Watch out, watch out. The, the people of the Lord's like. curse. They're the people of the Lord's curse. The Lord hates them. The Lord hates them. He said that. Yep. Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Right. Clearly he said that. Yep, that's it. So, so he, wait a minute. If he did put that hell. to a people that he loves, right. one could only imagine what he's going to do to a people that he hates. That's it. Hey, this guy, vocab, and not this vocab, the other guy. What's that other <laughs> guy that used to be down with him? From, uh, Truth after knowledge. Oh, Abu Kamar. Abu Kamar. Yeah. I believe he even said it. Cause me and him used to go back and forth. Yeah. You remember y'all went back and forth with him? Yep. yep. When we first came on YouTube, oh, yeah. they were attacking us. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it was this guy. Uh, Abu Kamar. Kamar, Kamar. TTAK. Y'all guys was dealing with that guy from like 11 o'clock at yep. night yep. till five in the morning, yeah, yeah. going back and forth. On the, that's back when we were cursing yeah, everybody yeah. out. Yeah. For hours, man. Yeah. When we leave, they, you would have to leave, you know? Yeah. And anyway, I believe it was either him or Vocab or the both of them. I think I did a video on Isaiah 14, maybe the first two verses. And they said that was talking about the Babylonians. Now we put the Babylonians in captivity. It ain't talking about Esau. Come on, when you read it, you know yeah. what it's talking about. You know it's talking about the future. Right. When it says the king of Babylon, you know it's not talking about Nebuchadnezzar. Right. right. Okay? Hey, so, and but where, where's the record that is Nebuchadnezzar put... was never called Lucifer. Right. You know? Right. And, and where's the and he record? He never made the earth to tremble. Right. And, and where's the record that Jake put the, the Babylonians in captivity? Right. There is no record. But but, but check this out. When they when when the when the Medo Persians took over the Babylonians, right? What, what people did we go up under? The, the we went up Persians. under the Medo Persians. That's yeah. right. That's it. So how the hell you gonna have slaves when you a slave of, of somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, like Apostle Paul said. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Right, huh? So uh, to a guy like Vokab, the scriptures are spiritually discerned, meaning hidden. Another word for discern is hidden. Con. So it says, uh, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Well, they're going to be howling too. Your riches are corrupted. And you know what? They, they're a real soft. They're real soft. Yeah. Because the last time, they, they really did some serious work. Let's go back in their generations. Let's go back to 1700s with the Rothschilds, when they, when the House of Rothschilds set up was set up. From then till now, have they done any serious work? No. Yeah, pretty much, they're just money lenders. Yeah, they've been parasites. Yeah. Ever since the Bourgeois, they've been fucking parasites, man. Living off other people, right. ripping off other people, right? Going back to the Bourgeois family, because we believe the Rothschilds are descendants of the Bourgeois family. The Borgia family goes back to the 1300s. So this is almost 700 years of being a fucking parasite. Living off people, ripping people off. Parasiticals. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. They accumulated those riches too. You got something called old money. These devils are still raking in money from, from the slave trade, believe it or not. They're still raking money from the fucking slave trade, man. Which means they're trillionaires, not no goddamn billionaires. Right, because they don't have to buy anything. They own everything. They so, created the goddamn Federal Reserve. So they, they're not spending no money like that. And they created the Federal Reserve so they don't have to use their money. It's, it's, just, it's just a fucking uh, uh, illusion. You yep. know, an illusion of wealth, that Federal Reserve. John, it says your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your yeah, how they got it how they got the gold and silver Rothschild still had remember Rothschild got in the business he was a money he was a gold he, he had vaults that, that he kept golden then he started ripping the people's gold off by giving them uh, uh, receipts that wasn't backed by gold right when you go back they into, told him it was backed by gold you had a gold certificate and silver certificate and I have some one somewhere from my house that when you went to the bank if you wanted gold you bring out a twenty dollar certificate and they give you gold so they had the, the vaults had gold in it not no got their money but anyway um damn i lost my fucking story anyway what he's reading right now 
your gold is cankered, your silver is cankered, yep. because that's real money. That's real goddamn money. And let me just say this. With this inflation, and they're making them dollar bills, everything's going up. You want to get a car, car goes for more money than it was last yep. two years ago. Your food is going sky high. On top of that, you got shelves that are empty. I've been to places where they got certain places with shelves that have shelves. Yep. <laughs> you know, the beats up, everything, everything's up, everything's up. The only, what's the only thing that didn't go up in price? What's the only thing that didn't go up in price? So far, silver is about the same. Silver and gold didn't go up. Yeah, it right. stayed the same. Which is weird. Which is, what, so what is that telling you? It's That they're manipulating it behind yeah. the scenes. And I said that for years. Yeah. I said they're manipulating the prices behind the scenes. So you don't run and get, I'm going to get gold. It ain't even going up. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because they're manipulating it. And basically, when, when the time comes, when they so-called open the ports, that's when gold is going to go skyrocket. Sky yeah, yeah. Silver's going to go skyrocket. Makes sense. And nobody's going to have silver. Yep. Dig they're it. They're buying real estate. They got the money to buy real estate all over. And they're buying everything up. They're killing all these, all these different buildings and houses. They're mom and pop businesses, man. Yep, yep. So you can, you might have a guy, you know, he might have worked construction, he might have had some money, and he might have got five properties. That's a little guy. What the bank can do, they can just say, I'll, I'll buy all five yep. of your houses. And that's what they're doing. And then what happens is, as soon as they get them houses, they double the rents. Yep. They did it where I live, man. They brought the building and they doubled the rents, man. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't go up 10%, they doubled the goddamn rent. Yeah, I remember back when they had the constant farm aid. Was that the mid 90s farm aid? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The farmers were complaining how the bankers were coming in and taking their land, taking over their farms, and turning them into, into government corporations. Yeah. Now the largest farm, farm owner is. There you go. Who? Bill Gates. Bill Gates, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah so he just started getting into uh, buying land. Yeah. Yeah, so you own the land, you own the farms, you control the food. You control the food. Back then, you had in the 80s, you had farm aid. The farmers got so mad, they started telling the uh, farm aid was a bunch of musicians, which that was all set up. Because the average musician, if they're popular, they're in the pocket of the bankers anyway. They're told what to sing. And even they brought that out in the video of Capitalist Conspiracy, where G. Edward Griffin said, rich men, corporations, John uh, Todd, too? Yeah, John Todd. He was over the, uh, uh, in some recording division. He, he called it Z Recordings, but he didn't want to give the real name. In other words, all these these uh, singers, and they're all controlled by the bankers. They're in the pocket of the bankers. All the Geffen records and other... Like, if you're making all. hundreds of millions, like a Jay-Z, Jay-Z's, he's an insider. Oh, absolutely. Uh, what's this guy? Uh, he got his own Bible. He, oh, Kanye, oh, West. Kanye West, Madman. he's an inside. He's a, once you make, them guys been around, Jay-Z been around for more than 20 years yeah. on top. He's a multi-billionaire. So, come on. He's, he's going to come out and tell the truth? Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is why, uh, now you go back to uh, gangster rap. The bankers wanted gangster rap. Right. They wanted to cor corrupt the morals of the average Jake. Well, give them gangster rap. Then they set up the so-called Jew, like Jimmy Iovine got in with this guy, uh, what's his face, uh, Dr. Dre. So Dr. Dre is the ultimate sellout. So yeah. it's, you, like he didn't know what he was, the gangster rap, he and didn't he know what he was. Too. He got flipped too, he likes getting oh, yeah. flipped. Yeah. yeah, He likes getting flipped, he goes, but he said, I, don't, I go both ways, I don't mind. That's what he said. Oh, there was this one rapper. These rappers, they produce some, like yeah. every week, to, tomorrow you're gonna see the new, fucking hip hop star, whatever, the rapper, whatever. The they had this rapper. one guy, he was on a, a damn. The fucking the versus, they got that versus oh, bullshit, yeah. which that's a joke. You know, Bone Thugs and Har Harmony yeah. and uh, they wound up getting, they actually got into a fucking fight. These are fucking degenerates, man. But anyway, 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 they uh, showed this one guy, he said, this is my new album, and they showed a clip of his video, and I think it was like a two minute clip. The whole video was him with a nine, you know, with a, with a, with a, with a, uh, 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 what is it, AR-15, guys running down the street getting shot out, shot at, he's talking about, 
employee, whatever. I said, wait a minute, don't these people realize what's going on? The whole video is based upon violence, man. Hey, a curse, you talk about the curse of Deuteronomy 28, <clears throat> it's a curse to be a rapper. Because if you're a rapper, there's a good chance, you know, you're going you gonna to get put to death. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 rappers are dying so much, getting killed off so much, you can't even keep up with them, man. I got, I got a precept. Because the average rapper, they, they're just full of words. They, you know, they take words. Yeah, and, I already know what you want to go. I know, I already know yeah, you yeah, said yeah, it Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. You set it up. That's yeah. called the setup. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say a few words on it, then I'll hit them with the script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, that's what they do. They take words and rhyme it. Wow. You know? <laughs> Ecclesiastes 10 and 14, it says, A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell. Now they, nowadays, they don't even used to have uh, real rap wordplay back in the day. It was creative. This shit ain't creative now. You know, come on, man. That shit sound like psycho babble, you know? Come on, man. That shit like psycho babble, you know? That's, I can't understand it. Yeah. Back in the day, you had the real. No, bro. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't understand yeah. it. I be picking up these jenks. And yeah. Esau, Esau played that more than jenks, man. Yeah. You got the headphones. Yeah, that crazy. Thing. Yeah, that crazy yeah, that beat. Snare. Yeah, that, 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 uh, that alien, alien snare. snare. Yeah, yeah. yeah that And then the game saying, yeah, 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 the yeah. That's yeah. called mobile yeah. rap. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's what they call it. Now back in, now back, you go back the late seventies. You had the, you had treacherous, the treacherous free. Oh, three, you had um, you had uh, Fearless Four. You had Fearless Four. You had uh, Sugar Hill Gang. You had the Sugar Hill Gang. You had yeah. those guys could rap. They, you could understand what they were saying, the words they were telling stories while they were rapping. That art is gone, man. That's that that's gone. That art is gone. Good. Go ahead. Bro. Oh yeah, bring us. Go ahead. Proverbs 18 and 21. The death and life are in the power of the tongue, mm. and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yeah, like Biggie, Biggie and Tupac. That's why they talk about it. Well, you prophesy. That's a good precept. You prophesy, huh? Because all they talk about is what? Yeah. You know? But then when rap first started, it wasn't about that. No. Nah. You know, my skills. Yeah, it was skills. It was my yeah. set is better than your set. Yeah. You know, I, I, you, know you got adultery that took your girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that type of shit. Did y'all actually see on versus uh, Bone Thug and Harmony against uh, <laughs> three six? Did y'all see it? I, I, I didn't see it. And you got to watch the whole clips thing. Of the but I heard yeah, about it. I said I there was a big yeah. fight. Yeah. And then they're singing shit. He said, shut you motherfucking fuck. Then they, they, they started doing shit. I said, I said, look at me. First of all, both of them, both of them crews, they ain't, that ain't my music any day. Yeah, yeah. So, Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> Come on, that name alone, you know that's a bunch of psycho, man, it's like the scripture, can these bones live? <laughs> yeah. Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Then one guy is a, a busy bone, another guy is a, a chop bone. Six mafia. A three six mafia. The yeah. three sixes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, another asshole. I hope they wrong. Yeah. Then each one of them, uh, they got it. They're they, they, they trying, man. They're trying. Okay, cool. They turned it off. Good. The last name is Bone. You got one character. Busy Bone, is it? <laughs> busy Bone. Yeah. Not Funny Bone. Busy Bone. What is that? <laughs> Not Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Uh, well, one of them might be named Funny Bone. bone. <laughs> Mud Bone. Milk Bone. Yeah. <laughs> bone Sucking Sauce. Huh? Oh, white and bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow, that's good, man. Niggas are gone. The hip hop Dalmatian. The hip hop Dalmatian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it is, it, it, I got a scripture, Jeremiah 4 and 22. That's why the Lord said, to Jeremiah 4 and 22, it says, um, For my people is foolish. They, they have not known me. They are sardish children. Sardish means stupid. They have none understand it. That's why we praise you, Abba Shem Yashah. We got this true one. Okay. You know? Um, okay. They have none understand it. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Hey, yeah. Uh, Notice okay. in the front. Notice in the front. Yeah, that was it.
What, what was we reading before? I, I just finished. We were reading a couple bunch of books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do you want me to go back to the Wisdom of Solomon? James. James. Oh, we were reading James. We were reading James. 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 Okay. okay. James 5 and in the middle of 3. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire, you have heaped treasure together for the last days. It says, Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields. Basically, that's the Heavenly Father cursing out the, the top wicked elite. Basically, that's, that's what that is. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Because why? Judgment is about to come upon them. They're going to survive the destruction only to be, as a matter of fact, let me bring out this prop, uh, precept. Yeah, there sorry. was some. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. There was some word I was looking up. I can't remember. I did a lesson on it where it also goes into that word, you know, where we read here, the laborers, and then what is that, Joel, which speaks about the wicked, which speaks about laborers yeah, also. Out, the word yeah, but there was another word I was looking up, and I, th I believe it was in the New Testament, but I can't remember what it was. It was also dealing with the laborers, because Esau's whole thing is all about oppression, yeah. you know? Yeah, this is uh, the book of Psalm 149, beginning at the fifth verse. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing a lot. Okay. Start at one. Okay. You always go to five. Start at one. Psalm 149 and one. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and His praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in Him that made Him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their King. Let them praise His name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto Him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in His people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the heavenly Father be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. And that's literal. In the kingdom, we're going to literally carry a two-edged sword, right? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. So that's going to go down in the kingdom, right? All the How other nations. Can get around that? Yeah. And when was this fulfilled? Right. Remember, this is a song that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit came on David to sing. You know? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Now, who's going to do that? Well, when you jump up to the first verse, it says the Lord's people, the Israelites. So when have the Israelites bind their kings with chains and their nobles of feathers of iron? We're waiting for that prophecy to happen, man. Okay? That's why Esau demonizes us. You tell them that they're going in the stable. To bind their kings with chains, so we're literally going to put chains, like they put chains on us. Like they put chains on our forefathers. Right? And they still got chains on us through their system. Their system is a goddamn chain. Hey, I looked up that book, though. Yep. yep. Uh, Jeremiah 30 is a good uh, re uh, chapter to read. The whole chapter is short. But it goes into the bond. A yep. bond is a yoke. Bonds. But well, we're bound by what? The social security number. Yep. Birth certificate. W-2 form. Yep. All these different forms. Birth certificate. License. 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 Who do adhesion contracts. Child support. But that's it. King Solomon said, I think it was King Solomon who said, who knows the way between a man and his maid? So who the fuck is the court to come and tell a man what he should do with his children that he had with a woman? Hey, that should be between should be between the man and his woman, man. Yeah, that's that's uh oh well you told the story about your son. Mm -hmm. That you were giving money, but the court was still trying to get money out you. Yep. And you said, Well, I'm giving the money, and, and they said, Well, those are just gifts. Those are just gifts, Because yeah. guess what? They wanted to cut. Yeah. The reason why they that whole system is set up yep. is so they can get a cut, man. That's yeah. how they do it. And they, they know they don't care about your sons or your daughters. Nah. But then they have the nerve to turn around and give uh, mafia dons sentences. Ain't that a mafia uh, tactic? That's a mafia tactic, man. It's true. But then they'll turn around and it, the it, old mafia don, you know, he, he will him at the front. <laughs> you know? And this devil is something else, man. He's too He's much. He's the ultimate hypocrite, man. Yeah, I'm going to finish reading that. It says, To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, mm. this honor have all his saints, praise, praise ye the, the Lord. Lord. That's right. Who are the saints? 
the Israelites. Because when you go back one chapter, well, let's answer it right. with the same song. All we got to do is go back one chapter, Psalm 148, beginning at the 13th verse. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, of people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. That's it. So who are the saints? The Israelites. This honor have all his saints. What is the honor? To put chains on these bankers, man. Gather my saints together unto me, them that have made a covenant with me, me by sacrifice. sacrifice. Psalm 50 and 5. And, shut on, bro. No, no, no other nations made a covenant with the Most High by sacrifice. And that's why we know that Yahweh Shai only died for the nation of Israel. It goes back to the covenant of sacrifice. That's it. Yahweh never made a covenant of sacrifice with the other nations. Just the nation of Israel. That's it. That includes the new covenant. That's right. They're trying to ride on a new covenant, okay? When you read about the new covenant in uh, Jeremiah 31 and Hebrews. Paul reiterates it in, in uh, Hebrews 8, verse 6 on down, yep. it, it says Judah and Israel. That's it. It. Now here comes Bokeh. Oh, let's talk about the body of believers. No, yeah, it is talking about the body of believers. Right. The believers among Israel. Yes. Shall be elect. And then his buddy said, oh, well, when we read about Rahab, it's as if the Lord told, as if the Lord yes. <laughs> said, Rahab, you are now an Israelite. Now you can now you can partake in the new covenant. The only blessing she's gonna get. And she's going to be a concubine to somebody. That's exactly. it. <laughs> and you know, your concubine look good, even though she's not, you're going to treat her halfway decent. Yeah. So that's the only blessing she's going to get, you know? <laughs> the way the guy was talking, it's like Rahab received the, the covenant. Yeah. But they're looking for that loophole yeah. to get in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, they should. They should because the, ad, the outer space ass whipping they're going to get. <laughs> hey, Volcan, you better hope by hell you're an Israelite. Real man, and I told you, Real I said talk, you could be an Israelite, you yeah. could be an Israelite, you know. But I'm hoping, like hell, you will eat him. Yeah, yeah man, me too. Yeah, man, we, we gonna we gonna shit him, man. We looking our chops. Only gonna man. get you the first three days. The boy gonna get you the next three days. Then you get the rest of the Saturday. And huh. we ain't gonna bring you over to the next slave master. Oh no, we are gonna tell you to bend over and ba bing, and you are gonna fly right to the next slave master. <laughs> You're going to get airlifted, son. <laughs> anyway, with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom. Uh, we put our three hours in. Yeah, you can say True. You know what we got to do? We got to bring out the anointing oil and anoint you. Next week, we ain't got the 